Oh, riddle me this! If males are stronger than women, why do the male characters in video games need full plate body armor, while the women only need chainmail bikini? Wait, what? You're trying to prove that women are stronger than men in real life, and in order to prove that point, you turn to a video game? Does she know that video games aren't real? Like, is this a joke? Also, in what video game? I'm sorry, but Minecraft Steve and Minecraft Alex, when they have full diamond armor, they take the same amount of damage, bro. But also, this whole TikTok is so extra. Like, look at the way that she just jumps into frame. Why are you so hyper? You're like a little kid that just ate a pack of M&Ms, dude. You know, like, relax, you know, take a deep breath in, chill out. You look like you're in your mid 60s i don't want you to have a heart attack it would really be a shame to lose off-brand vegan teachers so early huh i'm wearing foundation hello hi I i'm right here can you hear me you can't be switching race. Well, you see, I don't think she was switching race i think before she had the makeup on she was white and as she's taking it off she's still white you don't see me doing this and turning white? Yeah, I also noticed that. It's like you're not white or something. I'm not changing colors. Flippin' hell. Why are you a comedian? Why are you changing colors? Why are you changing race? Miss Girl. That shouldn't be the race. That shouldn't be your color. No. So I didn't really understand what the point of that TikTok was or really what she was trying to say at all, but those sunglasses were pretty fire. You really rock into Minecraft drip. White people need to experience slavery. Okay, yeah, good start. <laughs> what? How can we know what black people have been through when we haven't experienced slavery yet? Yeah, so I actually got a crazy factoid that might blow your mind. Black people today have not experienced slavery. I know, crazy, right? I think that's been over for a couple hundred years now. So yeah, I mean, I'm not really sure what you're gonna be trying to achieve here, but you know, I really trust you. You look like a trustworthy individual. I don't know what it is about maybe the chin marks. But the moment I knew that you were gonna say something intelligent was when I saw that random ass black line on your nose. We need to start letting black people live live in mansions and we need to live in the shacks in their backyard. That way we know what it's like to be oppressed. I mean, if anybody knows what it's like to be oppressed, I'd say that it's your barber. But if you really want to be a slave so bad, I like I don't even know what to tell you at this point. I would say go for it, but I don't I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube. Hey, I got the job. <laughs> yeah, now I can avoid homelessness and afford to put food in my stomach during the 30 minute meal break that I get throughout my eight hour shift which takes up about a third of my entire day, the other two thirds of which I exist in a constant state of existential dread. Wait, but I didn't ask though. Like, why are you posting this on TikTok? I didn't ask. Like genuinely, why do these people just complain about their lives on TikTok? I, 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 never, I would never understand that, bro. Also, if you're about to go on and complain about how you don't get paid enough, there's no way you can say that with a straight face as you're recording a goddamn TikTok, bro. Like this is time you could be using right now instead of making a TikTok to get your money up. And then on my two days off, I get to choose between doing things that I enjoy and resting my body. Not bad, right? Yeah, I just, I feel really grateful to be making minimum wage and to be unfairly exploited for my labor. Wait, 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 unfairly exploited? Dog, you can quit the job. Dude, unfairly exploited for your labor would be like what the last girl wanted about like bringing white people to slavery. I don't see how you working at a job and then getting paid for your work at that job is exploitation, bro. While the top 1% makes hundreds of billions of dollars during a global pandemic. I love capitalism. Yeah, it's pretty great. I don't have like a serious issue with straight people. I just don't necessarily agree with the lifestyle. Oh yeah, the lifestyle where, what, we settle down, have a family, and, I don't know, try to, like, live a comfortable life? What even is the straight lifestyle? I don't even, I, I never even think about that. I don't even think your average straight person even, like, thinks about that, even, like, at all. Yeah, I can guarantee you, when a guy is refilling his Dave & Buster's card, he's not really thinking about, wow, yeah, I really love to sleep with women. Like, that's just not, like, I don't, like, what are you even talking about? And the way they push the straight agenda on us from the time where two years old. MF! -a. What agenda? I mean, listen, if there is an agenda, I certainly don't know about it. I haven't been told about it yet. Like, I, I don't know if they're planning something. I don't know if, like, I don't know, the straight committee is thinking about anything. I haven't been let in on the secret knowledge yet. They're like, oh, you're gonna marry little Davey when you grow up. And I'm like, nah, I don't, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in being straight. I don't believe it's possible to be straight. Yeah, well, this one's gonna be really hard for you to hear. It actually turns out that you were created with the process of two straight people having intercourse. Yeah, it's a damn shame. I know if you could, you'd probably re-roll the dice and pray that you were a bone marrow baby, but you'd probably also die in two weeks, so I, I don't know, man. I do not wear deodorant. 
And I smell like a flower. Why though? Like seriously, what like, what is the point? I mean, I feel like it's a pretty non-controversial take to say the invention of deodorant has been a pretty big success for the human race. But hey, I mean, if you prefer to like actually smell like death and not shave your armpits and I guess take the, the caveman route to life, I guess, yeah, you can do that. But just don't be surprised when you are within a 50 mile radius of any sort of civilization that your sheer scent will have knocked them unconscious. So when you do enter that civilization, don't expect anybody to be able to interact with you. This message is for the group of 50 year old men who were yelling to me across the bar and fucking, oh, I like your hair. Electric chair! Wait a second, so you were at the bar, and then some guys were complimenting your hair, and so you've now decided to record a TikTok of you assaulting your mirror because you're offended that they complimented you? I mean, that doesn't even make sense. Like, why would you be offended over a compliment? Would you have preferred that they roast you? Like, respectfully, if roasting you was a video game mission, that shit is recruit difficulty, bro. That's like the first level of the game. That's literally the tutorial. In Xbox Live lobbies, kids used to get roasted literally based on their voice. If you at all sounded like maybe there was a chance that you haven't hit puberty yet, I'm sorry, but you were getting roasted to a crisp. And now the polar opposite of that is happening to you in real life, and you're now assaulting your mirror and TikToking about it. Okay, dude. Yeah, guys, if you're watching this, I want you guys to know that it is never okay to compliment a woman's hair. If you think a woman had especially nice hair on a certain day, and you wanted to highlight that and be a nice guy, no! Matter of fact, this is what we do to men who think it's okay to compliment hairstyles. Lick your chair. Yeah, lick your chair. Whatever that means. Dude, I don't even know why you're so angry, bro. Like, were the Pinterest servers down today? Like, what, what, what's going on? Did you accidentally delete your dream fanfiction? Like, I don't know why you're so upset. It cannot- I just refuse to believe that it's because somebody complimented you. Like, something had to have happened today as to why you're so upset. Dude, you're like trying to create a seismic wave. Like, what is what is this even like, like so uncalled for, man? You don't have to date anyone you don't want to date. But if you're categorically refusing to date certain types of people, then I think it's important to examine those biases. It's fine to have preferences, but it's important to examine whether some of them are actually prejudice. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that me wanting to date women and not men isn't prejudice. I got plenty of guy friends, so I know that I don't hate men, and I like dating women, so I, I don't- <laughs> Yeah, what can I say? Another W for a Cheeto. Another day, another W. Yep, today we're looking at more TikTok cringe. You guys could accuse me of milking it for views, and you wouldn't be wrong, but I only do it because I know you guys like it. You know, these videos, they tend to be well-received among the community, and hey, I'm just here to deliver. I'm for the culture. So drop a like for the algorithm. Just do it. It, and let's watch this cringe. Okay, so obviously a very hyperbolic post from this guy, uh, as he's got the Walking Dead intro theme playing in the background. First of all, I would just like to say that assuming this virus is gonna just last forever, you know, he went from year one of the breakout to year five or year ten, it's like, I think they're gonna try to get rid of this thing soon. But I guess this guy is preparing for the worst. He's assuming that COVID is going to be around in, like, the next coming decades. Maybe he's just incredibly worried that his great-great-grandkids are gonna grow up in a COVID world, and I guess this is his way of coping with that fear. I couldn't really tell you what's going through this guy's head, as I have no idea what he's thinking, but by far the most confusing part of this TikTok is the change in attire. Why did he start dressing like a South Detroit gangster? You know, year one, he looks like he's fresh out of Reddit University, and by year three, he looks like he just got shot in a drug trade. Also, at year nine, he looks exactly like Walter White from Breaking Bad. Oh, princess. Oh, princess, guess who I've got? <laughs> Thought you said you weren't going to lose him to me. Alright, so despite the fact that I can bet my bottom dollar that this guy was issued an arrest warrant in every county of every single city of every state in this country, it's posts like these that really make you want to invest in something like a home security system. Because you think that you're having a normal life, you think that you're going through the motions of life, just chilling out, you know, studying for your tests, doing your homework, but then you forget the possibilities that somebody like this individual could really just be living around the corner. And you never know when it's gonna be their last straw, when they're gonna hop up to your place. 
And the last words you hear before he enters your bedroom when you're sleeping is, Hey, princess. Also, my commentary for this post would feel incomplete if I didn't mention that this guy's hat looked so goofy. He looks like Notch from Minecraft's long lost cousin. A cousin with like a really weird hobby or passion. Like, I don't know, collecting toothbrushes. I'm not cringing, I'm very concerned as to why he has a helium nitrate tank in his living room. I just don't know what the use for that would be. I don't know, maybe he's making himself like a mini rocket ship or something. I really couldn't tell you, man, but all the Nightcore TikToks with like the old pop music, they always seem to have a weird vibe to them. You know, like you'll hear, my heart's a stereo, my heart's a stereo, my heart's a stereo, and it'll just, the video itself will be, I don't know, some guy's fish dying. Ayo. Jawline check. Okay, so <laughs> some guy, I guess, is showing his jawline off while a school band rendition of Moonlight by XXX Tentacion plays. I think what makes this post so unfortunate is I don't think this guy knows what a jawline check is. He hardly even turned his head to show his jawline. He just seemed to like stroke his own face. <laughs> Wasn't really sure what that is. He was like petting his beard or something. Listen, I get it. Self confidence, it's an important trait to have. You gotta feel confident in your body, you gotta be confident in the way you speak, but I feel like this really isn't the way to do it. If anything, it just comes across cringy and you end up in compilations like these. So we got like your average kid smack dab in the middle of puberty doing like a belly dance in his father's study. Something about him pulling his fist down as he just does the same motion is the funniest shit to me. He reminds me of Vector from Despicable Me. Oh yeah! You could have shown this to me and said it was the teaser for the upcoming Diary of a Wimpy Kid live action TV show. I would have not like doubted you at all. I don't even know what else there is to say about it. It's just like, <laughs> oh man, how do you show up to school the next day? If I ever posted something like this, the fear of somebody airplaying that on the school smart board during a test or something would consume me. We pop out at your party, I'm with the gang. I'm gonna be honest, bro. I feel like you're not popping out at any parties and you're not with your gang. I feel like you're popping out at the school lunch pizza party. Maybe you're popping out to the uh, PSAT study group. And it's gonna be a robbery, so tuck your chain. Okay, so now he's gonna rob me, so I should tuck my chain. All right, bro. Yeah, I'll be sure to do that. Do you want to be my wifey? Come on and lay on my bed. So this guy seems innocent enough, but I hope he knows the average age of the girls that are using this app. Otherwise, we might have another Redditor situation like we had earlier. I just want to grow old with you. I want you to be my sugar boo. Also, I don't know if I'm bugging, but I think I see the Confederate flag right behind this guy's couch. Come on, let's not delay! So this guy obviously, you know, gorgeous voice, really good at singing. I honestly think that he's probably the next Yeet. Nah, scratch that. Next Katy Perry, to be honest. I could easily see this guy signing to Island Records and dropping a single with Lil Nas X. Well, you know, maybe not Lil Nas X because of the, uh, <laughs> the Confederate flag. But yeah, man, gorgeous voice. Uh, definitely not hard to listen to and really regrettable to ever listen to. I don't really want no friends. I don't really want no friends, no. He trying a 69 like the gosh, he call him bappy. What the ASAP keep me rocky? I'm from New York, so I'm cocky. Say he fucking with my posse gun. So yeah, you know, another, another example of unparalleled musical talent and abilities. I just don't understand. Do these people not know what the draft setting on TikTok is? Even I know what that is. And I deleted the app like seven months ago. Also, 6 9 <laughs> Seriously? No disrespect, but you kind of look a lot less like the, I don't know, gangster. I'm a shoot you, I'm a kill you type of person, and more like the indie pop social butterfly type of person. Oi! 
I would have been dying of laughter at this if I was like maybe two years old. Like even at three years old, I'd just be like, all right, like what is this shit? You know, like some fat guy decides to put on the pig costume and roll around in actual mud for content. What, like why? I hope you know that if you laughed at that, this is what you just laughed at, okay? A man, probably with a unfavorable BMI in a pig costume rolling around in mud. I just want you to know real men just don't wear pink. We too. Dude, aren't you a little bit too old to be on this app? Like, seriously, you look like you're in your mid-twenties. Just log off. And more importantly, why are you using this as, like, a medium to try to attract women? Like, I know what you said, I'm not gonna try to explain it to my audience, but you're at the age where you shouldn't be using TikTok to try to get girls, that's just weird. Anybody who uses TikTok to try to find a significant other is already just beyond far gone, but if you are over the age of 15 trying to find a significant other on TikTok, dude, it's raps, like, you need to be cured, you need to, like, see somebody to help you with that issue. This content is the real pandemic. Fuck about my fucking face before I murder you! So with this one, you kind of have to look at it from two different ways. Either they are actually people who would kill you, which then it just seems sort of stupid for them to post this because if they are actually killers, then why would you confess to it, especially on TikTok where everybody can see it? And option two, the more likely option, is that these people are very, very desperate to roleplay. So I guess, like, they want to pretend that they're gangsters on TikTok for <laughs> validation from kids, which just seems a bit weird. So I deleted TikTok in July of 2021. Best decision of my life, okay? If you're a crack addict and you use TikTok, quit TikTok, not crack. Like seriously, I think TikTok is actually worse for you because dude, the content on that app, if you didn't uninstall TikTok after devious licks were like the biggest trend, I don't know really what's gonna make you delete the app. The only reason I ever enjoyed TikTok for anything was like the 144p family guy shit posts, but other than that, like it's horrible. But if you haven't yet deleted TikTok, hopefully this video will make you. Because today we're gonna look at some very cringy TikTok radical feminists that seem to really hate men. And just to be crystal clear, I am totally for equality and all that stuff, okay? I love women, women are pretty epic. But this whole trend that sort of emerged in the late 2010s of just shitting on men to gain clout or just because you feel like it or had one bad experience with a guy, it's weird and I don't like it and it needs to be called out. If you think that being a feminist makes you any less of a man, you're admitting that your version of masculinity requires the oppression of women. Like this guy right here, you can already tell one of the most unbearable people you're ever gonna interact with. Like if you see this guy at school, literally just bolt the other direction because if you get within earsight of this guy, you're gonna overhear some stupid shit that he's saying about how, like, uh, I don't know, riding in a hot air balloon promotes toxic masculinity and the patriarchy. And the point that he's making is such a weak point too. Basically the point that he's making is that if you look down on male feminists for any reason, you're probably a bad dude and you want to overhear oppress women. Now, that's actually not true. I don't want to oppress women. I like women a lot. I think women are epic and based sometimes. But whenever I see one of these scrubs on TikTok talking about, uh, if you are a man and doesn't like another man for being a male feminist, uh, you hate women. Like, no, dude. I would just really want to kill myself if I was playing a game of Counter-Strike and I got a lecture over the voice chat from another dude about how certain pizza toppings enforce gender stereotypes. Like, <laughs> like, dude, just let me headshot. I'm not trying to hear this. Sorry, tough guys. It's part two of a day in the life of a stay-at-home husband. When I say check your misogyny at the door, I mean it. Yo, am I tripping or is that Home Depot music playing in the background? What? Like, <laughs> what is happening? It's the weekend, so you know I gotta let my queen sleep in, so I make her some pancakes. She likes them with chocolate chippies in them. After I flip the script on these gender norms, she wakes up to a hot plate of pancakes. Here's the thing, right? Like, I don't actually think this video is all that bad. Like, you made your girlfriend or your wife or whatever some pancakes. That's cool, right? Who doesn't like being served some hot pancakes without having to lift a finger? I would love it if someone made me hot pancakes and brought them to me while I'm sleeping on the weekend. Really, who wouldn't? Like, seriously. But I think what makes this so cringe is, like, that you have to make it about gender roles. Dude, who cares? Like, just do the good deed and don't think about it. Not everything ever in life 
life needs to be looked at through this weird gendered lens, and I think doing that is just really weird and it alienates people. It's just not called for. Like, imagine if every time I had to clean up my dog's shit, I thought about how cleaning is a more feminine trait and that I'm actually becoming a feminine woman by doing that. Like, like what? I would never clean anything. I'd be a slob. There are just certain things that I think are good things and don't need to be looked at or perceived through certain gendered or like gender culture lenses, you know? On Sundays we strip the sheets and then I load the dishwasher. I'm sorry, but there's nothing badass about loading the dishwasher. Like, I'm sorry, that's not even like <laughs> why, why, like, why, why, why would you flex about that? I got the whole pancakes thing. It's like, oh shit, I made my girl some pancakes. I'm such a good boyfriend, whatever. But it's like, yeah, I'm so, I'm so based and red pilled that I'm going to load the dishwasher. Like, okay, okay, bro. Next, I borrow my wife's credit card and I go get some groceries. I check those eggs. I check out, make my way home and put the groceries away the fridge organized with all her favorite drinks and snacks, and then I take the trash out to where the men go. Don't strain yourself, queen. You work too hard. You know the drill. Follow to end the patriarchy. This is just what I don't understand. Like, ending the patriarchy by making chocolate chippy pancakes? Like, dude, why? This video is the definition of uncalled for. I can just tell, like, that dude has maybe three other guy friends that he hangs out with. Like, this is what happens when you let your girlfriend control you. Like, you're literally a tool, man. I don't know if you know it, but you are. Okay, so this next TikTok is going to the doctor as a female. Uh, doc, I broke my arm. You gotta help me. Oh my god, get this man to surgery! Hi, um, I have broken my arm. Oh my god, have you... Can't help but feel... It wouldn't have broken if you'd lost weight. Yeah, that's gotta be one of the most retarded things I've ever seen. What? Do you seriously think that a girl or woman, whatever, breaks her entire arm, her arm is literally broken, and you think that the doctors that are getting paid to do surgery on arms and, like, fix broken bones, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, uh, you're fat, plus ratio, plus lose weight. It's so insane. Like, that has just straight up never happened. I'm serious. I mean, like, yeah, if you're 800 pounds and you're literally the entire weight of a construction site, you're obviously gonna break some of your bones due to the sheer weight that you're carrying around, but if you're just talking about, like, your average woman walking into the hospital or the doctor with a broken arm, don't think they're gonna say anything. These people overestimate how much guys actually care about these sorts of things. Like, I'm gonna speak on behalf of the entire male species right now. Bro, we- all we wanna do is just vibe out, alright? Like, the fellas, we wanna vibe together, we wanna do gaming together, we wanna play COD together, we wanna grill, we just wanna have fun, man, okay? It's that simple. We wanna make money, get our bread up, and that's it. Like, you're here just mind your business, mind your business. Like, dog, I'm not- like, I'm, I'm, I've been minding my business. Like, I feel like people, especially like these TikTok feminists that believe that every Everything is about them can only view the like view anything ever through that lens of like well how does this tie back into my life as a woman or my life as a feminist you know it's like dude it, it may it may not like I'm sorry but if the extent of your like activism is criticizing dudes in Xbox live lobbies for making a yo mama so fat joke you need a new shtick everybody takes things and this is more general everybody takes things way too seriously nowadays man like I don't know why things can't be so lighthearted like yeah dude sometimes I'm not gonna lie like men will say I'm not obnoxious things about women or whatever. Yeah, that, that does exist. But dude, you're on TikTok. We live in a great time period in terms of technology. The fact that we have all the resources really to have good lives and the fact that we're not and that we're hard pressed about like jokes and like things that we really could just choose not to care about is sad. And on top of that, we also have people LARPing situations that never happened. Like earlier, the dude was talking about breaking your arm and how you're going to get treated apparently if you're a woman and you break your arm. Again, never happened. People just love role playing for some reason. Reason. Check out this woman who's like role-playing as e Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I guess living vicariously through her or something. I don't know why you would want to do that out of all people. Like, we literally live in the same timeline as Keanu Reeves, but you're picking AOC? All right, bro. Representative Yoho put his finger in my face. He called me disgusting. He called me crazy. He called me out of my mind. He called me dangerous. Representative Yoho called me, and I quote, a f***ing... 
Like these people literally want to be AOC so bad. Why? I don't know. Because they can LARP out their fantasies of having somebody mistreat them so that they can complain on social media about being mistreated. It's actually a crazy world we live in, man. And this is 1000% not to say that really bad shit happens every single day to women. Like I totally acknowledge that and I really do feel awful for a lot of the stuff that happens. But I don't feel awful for stuff that doesn't happen. Like being called fat when you break your arm. Like you're having like a multiple personality disorder moment where you think you're both a doctor and a patient. Like, I don't know what's good with you, man. As a fat person. Yes, let's go. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. I often dread medical appointments because of blatant medical fat phobia. What, like asking you to step on the scale? What, what is blatant medical fat phobia? Guarantee you she's gonna just continue with her talk without giving a single example. Um, the last OB appointment I went to, uh, the provider blamed everything on my weight and told me that I needed to go on a medication that made me feel really terrible. Okay, so not only was my prediction correct, but she's rocking the Jack Harlow haircut right now. Not like that has anything to do with anything that she's talking about, but I just had to point it out. Honestly, the haircut looks actually pretty good. I know you guys think that I'm joking right now. No, 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 no. When I see good hair, I gotta point it out, okay? This OB appointment that I just went to, I've been dreading and the provider was amazing. She asked me what my pronouns are. I don't know if somebody asking you what your pronouns are is gonna guarantee you long-term physical health, but uh, hey man, at least it made you happy. Tips on how you can be a better intersex ally. Dude, the only tips that I need to actually succeed in this life are the tips that I got from my Minecraft Redstone handbook, okay? And if you're not gonna teach me how to properly use Minecraft Redstone, then please get up on my trap house. When it comes to inclusive language, oftentimes people tend to use phrases like people with penises or people with vaginas. <laughs> but I've got you and I won't leave you. And I love you and I'm so sorry that you're scared. Dude, this one 100, no, 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 1000 percent should have stayed in the drafts. Like, I don't know why you posted yourself having a mental breakdown on TikTok. Was it for validation? Was it for clout? I, like, like, why? And I'm definitely not saying that you can't show emotion or you shouldn't show emotion in your videos and stuff. Like, that's obviously ridiculous. Like, you can literally find compilations of Markiplier crying, but Markiplier also doesn't just spam post clips of him bawling on the ground with no context. Markiplier, every time that he's cried, has been in a video talking about something pretty deep. I mean, yeah, there's like a couple times where he's crying at video games, but again, like, there's also greater context there. I made a really loud yelly video about this, but I decided I will approach this in a more calm but stern manner. Alright, so we have Dollar Store Slim Shady about to spit some facts about God knows what, like, who even knows what, what this person's about to start talking about, dude. A lot of the people using kitty and pup and bunny self pronouns are neurodivergent minors. Okay, doesn't mean that it's not stupid. Like, I don't care if you're 10 years old or 63 years old, I'm not calling you bunny self. That's not happening. It is a very common neurodivergent experience to feel a disconnect from being human. Mm -hmm. Cool, so let's try to get these people to feel more human. Like, let's bring them back to reality. Let's not pretend that the reality of whatever they're living in is true. And from... from the societal expectation of the gender you were assigned to birth. So when you have this intersection of feeling a disconnect from being human and a disconnect from the societal expectation of gender, whether you're neurodivergent or not, a lot of people have this experience who are neurodivergent. It's just very common. Oh my god, how did I miss this? What is going on with the neon orange eyebrow on the left? No pun intended, but that literally looks like a Cheeto. Like, that literally looks like a Cheeto. Guess what, fuckers? My patience has run out. Ooh, shiver me timbers! <laughs> oh, oh, the patience has run out. What are you gonna do, snap into final form and Kamehameha me to heaven? What are you gonna do, like, sing a Panic at the Disco song so poorly that it's gonna make me want to end my own life? Pansexual is not inherently biphobic. Dude, I was thinking the same thing. Like, what's going on with that? Like, 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 seriously. What, and I actually have no idea what, what they're talking about. They are both valid sexuality. You have them tattooed on your neck. Best part is the camera's flipped, so it kind of looks like you have meth tattooed. Both of them. And while, yes, I have seen pansexual people use that label for questionable reasons, they pretty quickly get it once you explain things to them. They do. And not only that, but do you know who likes to use specific or micro labels? Neurodivergent people. Sometimes we just have to do whatever we can to feel safe and comfortable. 
and using a more specific label can be our outlet for that. Dude, it's always the people that are gonna be talking about something about, like, gender or, like, sexuality that I know could look like the next Minecraft mob they put in the game. If you took all that energy you spend calling people biphobic and saying they're performing bi erasure and just educated them, there would be less biphobia. Dude, can we go back to when Party Rock Anthem was released? I just want to go back, like, like, just like ten years, maybe like twelve years ago, when that when that was like the only song that was being played. I feel like things would have been so much more chill, you know. Actually, let's go a little bit further. Owl City Fireflies, spawn me in right now on the release date of that song. I'm demisexual. I only feel sexual attraction when I form an emotional connection. I mean, I never heard of this before, but it sounds actually pretty good. Like, I feel like if you just want to get to know somebody before doing the nasty, like, it's a good thing. Okay, it's only my second day of online class, and this man is making me want to drop out it? already. Uh, I, I thought there would be a personal introduction section for this course if we're working as teams. Bro, everybody can see your name already. What is there to introduce? What do you want to say? Like, oh, I'm, I'm from blank, pronounce he him. Like, no, like, dude. Dude, it's academics, not social hour. I don't know why some people have such a hard time comprehending this. Like, oh, um, well, that, uh, we, we kind of work in small groups and get to know each other as we go. And, um, I have done personal introductions and I, I actually did them in my in-person class, but it's so slow. It takes so much time. Yeah. Also, you have to understand that she teaches probably hundreds of kids and she has multiple classes to keep track of every student's name. And so I feel like it's pretty stressful for her to be like pressured into having everybody introduce themselves to her. And then she's going to feel so awkward when she inevitably forgets one of them. So I decided to pass on that this semester. We did that in my in-person class and we still got further in the slides than we did online. So um, I'm hoping yes. that yes, we'll get- gonna... Yeah, bro, she wasn't in the middle of a sentence or anything. Keep interrupting. Keep, no, no, just keep doing it. Everybody wants to hear you keep talking. Throw this surprise at the wall right now then. What's Hello. That? What? Oh, nah. Bro whipped out the VTuber! Hello. Oh. Go I, uh... Yeah, I was gonna do this whole bit. It's not worth it. Dude, just transfer schools. It's over. It's literally over. Just leave. Just switch states. Anymore. Oh, introduce yourself. We, uh, we'll take a minute. Everybody, I'm sure, wants to hear you introduce nah. yourself with this. Go ahead. No, nah, I don't. I feel bad because this guy clearly doesn't have the right people surrounding him. Like, I feel like a good friend talks to this guy and says, Hey, dude, you know, just by doing this, you're literally eliminating any chances you ever had of a woman touching you. Also, nobody thinks it's funny whatsoever. It's just really bizarre, awkward, and strange. Like, nobody's gonna want to associate with you. Like, I seriously feel bad. I wish this guy had the right people to be like, Hey, dude, yeah, maybe not the right play. Here's a few of my favorite songs to get Liddy at a pizza party, or when you're just straight chilling by yourself. Back when I had TikTok, I used to love this guy. He makes like ironic posts where he pretends to be like the cringiest kid. We Liddy, we Liddy, a Number one. Uptown, funk you up, a Uptown, funk you up, a Number two. I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got $20 in my pocket, a yeah, he pretends to be like a like a sixth grader trapped in a 20-year-old body. It's pretty classic stuff, I'm not even gonna lie. Party Rock is in the house tonight. Every day I'm shuffling. <laughs> Fine, I guess you are my little pog champ. Come here. Ooh, I wonder what this does. <laughs> Rose chompers were imported straight from Europe. I like the hat though. The hat is looking fresh. Very cheesy video. Yeah, this is just disgusting. Like, there's just no, there's no like funny joke to make about this. It's just gross. You're spraying chemical cheese into your mouth on TikTok. Like, if that's not a sign of the like, like the just the doom that we're about to face. Like, as a nation, if you don't think this is proof that we're headed downhill, I don't know what's gonna like wake you up. Like, I don't know how somebody could see that video and not feel red pilled after watching it. Like, in all honesty, I don't know how you take a look at that and say, oh yeah, we're in a pretty good spot as a nation. <laughs> I'ma wake up, I'm about to say some Three virgins on the tracks, so I forgot to stay sus only Let's get up, put your feet on the ground, take you off 
take you out to out to breakfast this morning. Oh hell yeah, man! Nothing's more classic than the senior citizen thirst trap on TikTok. Real talk though, why do all the senior citizens that use TikTok? First of all, why do they use it in the first place? Second of all, why do they treat it like it's a 65 plus dating app? Like I will see these dudes on TikTok that are very clearly from the older generation, and then they'll literally be on TikTok like, man, who want me? Bro, Bingo Night wants you. Get over there. You're late. Is there a problem? Yeah, there's no way this guy was eligible to sign the terms and conditions for TikTok. This guy looks like the average YouTube kids user. Hey. What would you do if we broke into your house? If you broke into my house, I'd have to call animal control, but if I was unable to call animal control for some reason, I would either have to whip out the bull tranquilizer, or honestly, in worst case scenarios, I could just feed you a, a Snickers bar, or like a Kit Kat, you know, chocolate does tend to have an adverse effect on dogs. What would you do if we broke into your house? First, I would say, well, hello. Secondly, would you like something to eat? You look very hungry and very thirsty after your journey. Dude, you are down dastardly. What is going on, man? Get a grip. Snap out of it, man. Like, come on, man. You're hitting on TikTok furries. Is this how far you've fallen from grace? Like, I can only imagine in high school, you were the king of the chess team. You were destroying everybody who even stepped to you. And now you're hitting on TikTok furries? That's a major glow down, my dude. I, I feel sorry for you. And secondly... Would you like a good home to rest your paws? And thirdly, which one of you would not, would not snuggle up to my feet? And fourthly, which one of you would like a hug and a cuddle? And I hope you didn't mind me doing this video. Have a good day. Stay safe. Bye. Yo, we gotta get this guy on Tinder. Like, we gotta get him back in the game. This is a tragedy. Yo, how do we let this happen to one of our very own brothers? Like, this guy at one point was the man, okay? Maybe only for like a couple seconds, but seriously, man. Where's the humanity, okay? I cannot let my fellow comrades be fallen and treated like this. What would you do if I broke into your house? <laughs> Dude, this is just Mark Zuckerberg if he never went to Harvard. Like, this is community college Mark Zuckerberg. One furries wants something special. Ready? Will you tell me more about it? Holy hell, jump scare warning next time, please. Dog, you look like a rare club penguin puffle. At what point does the idea cross somebody's mind at all that this would be an acceptable way to present yourself in front of millions of people on the internet. Like, there just comes a certain point where I see this sort of content and I just have to think that this is like a self-inflicted human rights violation. Like, bros out here looking like Elmo talking about, like, furry fantasy roleplay? That's just not right. Oh yes, he's like waiting for you to do something. What you waiting for? Go give, go give him a kiss or something. Or something. Don't just let him sit there alone. Cuddle with him or something. That's what he's looking for. You gotta give furries what they want. How about you give me what I want, which is the end of this sort of content on TikTok. Like, come on, man. Like, you are literally gonna scar some kids, man. Think of the children. Well, I mean, actually, probably don't think of the children because you might be attracted to them considering you are a furry. But hey, if not for them, do it for me. Apparently, the term straight assumed or straight passing relationship needs to be discussed, so let's talk about it. The term refers to any relationship that others determine is straight based on how they perceive it, when in fact it consists of queer individuals. Oh, okay, so if I see a man and a woman dating, I'm not allowed to assume that it's a straight relationship? Okay, GG. No, seriously, what even are you trying to do? Like, what even- how is this gonna benefit society? Do you think by you posting this hyper-woke SJW content to TikTok that you are, I don't know, making the world a better and safer place? Because you're not. All you're doing is further isolating yourself from any bit of normativity, and you're also completely blurring the lines for issues that matter and issues that don't matter. I'm telling you right now, what you're talking about does not matter at all. Some people actually get on TikTok and try to spit a message about some shit that they care about, you know, they try to actually make an impactful statement, but that content is somehow drowned out by all these people that come up with these made-up issues that apparently need to be spoken about. Like, this one's a prime example. We do not need to be talking about how seeing a man and a woman date can actually not be a straight relationship. Who may be part of the M-spec, A-spec, or trans community. Why does this matter? Because when you look at a straight assumed relationship and you assume that the people in that relationship are straight based on how you perceive their relationship, 
you are erasing their identities as queer people. And if you think that bi, pan, omni, ace, arrow, trans, non-binary, or other gender non-conforming people- Damn, she really just read through the entire Pokédex right there. Boom. People owe you a specific look or a specific type of relationship in order to fit in with our own community, that says more about you than it says about us. You see, this is what I'm talking about. She's gonna complain, oh man, like it's hard for me to fit in, but then you go on and do this on TikTok. This is not helping at all. This alienates you from others. Like literally, bro, your default Jonesies that just want to live their lives as normal folks and just do the shit that everybody else does. Yeah, they're not very much hyped up by your speeches on TikTok, you know? Stop using the elevator to go to the third floor. If you're able-bodied, walk. No, why would I do that, dude? Able-bodied people invented the idea of an elevator not for people in wheelchairs, but for other able-bodied people, yo. We did that because we're lazy and automation is efficient. Also, you do realize that elevator use is not mutually exclusive. You can use the elevator as well as I can. I mean, if it came down to whether you or I had to use the elevator, obviously you would probably get to use it, but like, why are you acting like in any context under the sun, I should never use the elevator? Like, that's just retarded. Oh, please, don't blow me a kiss as if you didn't just shit-talk the entire able-bodied community. What's the best feeling in the whole wild world? Bruh. Sex. <laughs> okay, ten minutes before I get my hair cut. Okay, that sounds good. I'm excited. Three minutes before I get my hair cut. Okay, I'm hyped. Let's see it. Oh! Now that cut's actually pretty fire. Kind of looks like you're about to get sent off to the army, though. Looks like somebody's about to get involved with the Russia-Ukraine conflict. <laughs> they say if you listen to this song while looking at yourself, you awaken your inner demon. Damn, it looks like those allegations really did a number to Sky Does Minecraft. Now it's looking like Sky Does Mad Crack. All right, so here, Mr. Sky Does Minecraft is going to act like he has an inner demon taking over him, and then he's going to be shocked or something that he realizes, oh my god, my inner demon. Big cat, damn, homie, where's the drip where's at? So I'm guessing that TikTok was sort of a thirst trap, but my entire time watching that TikTok, I just couldn't get my mind off the fact that this dude looks so much like Roger from American Dad. When you're in the car with somebody that can't drive. Oh, that's disgusting. Holy shit. Bro got on Yeezy slides just to have the most hobbit-shaped toenails I've ever seen. <laughs> That is unmatched menace behavior. Dude is quivering in anger because he lost a game of Super Smash Brothers. This is the guy that you're gonna catch Naruto running down the hallway in your school just for no reason. We have this massive spike that Valorant sent me, which I like very much. Ooh, let me show you guys. Does this. Okay, please defuse Ooh, it. Wow. Oh. Yeah, defuse um, it. Yeah, please, it please. Just so okay, cool. look, it's still on. It's still freaking on, Pokey. Just, just, just please defuse it. Just defuse it, and we can all go home. Hit the floor! Damn, bro, that was some funny stuff. I'm sure if you post that 30 more times, she'll definitely respond to you, man. Yeah, that definitely was not abnormal at all. Definitely standard run-of-the-mill TikTok right there, my dude. The sad part is, is that is literally the average Pokemon viewer, and you cannot tell me otherwise. Average Pokemon viewer in 2022 is just a band kid who has never grown out of the 2017 Somebody Touch My Spaghetti memes. Like, that guy will literally come up to you during class and be like, do you know the way? And at that point, you just have to tell him, like, dude, are you all Right? Have you been cryopreserved since the year 2017? Okay, so this one right here is just a grown man in a public restroom standing still and recording himself standing still. I just want to believe the plot for that TikTok was this guy was out eating dinner with his friends and he just said, Oh yeah, man, just give me one minute. I'll be right back. He goes to the bathroom and just the whole reason he went to the bathroom was to record that. <laughs> Dude, they're not monkey bars. Why would you ever think that hanging on a clothesline and swinging back and forth would be a good idea? Real life grown adult, by the way. Like, I'm all for taking advice from people that are older and wiser than you, but you gotta be careful because sometimes people that are older than you are not always wiser than you. Like, you know, exhibit A. 
I rinse it and repeat my Rocky cut scene started 2016. What genre of music is that? I just can't tell. That's not hip hop. Thank you, God, for my fam. They're like Adrian to me. That's like the Vineyard Vines national anthem. Nah, nah, nah. How was it driving out in the world alone? <gasps> <gasps> Is she all right? Dude, she tried to lean forward, but then she just straight up collapsed. Take this freeze frame, make it black and white. I can easily see this just being a dead person. It is. Starbucks, I haven't seen it in so long. I haven't seen it in so long. Why are you acting like this cup of caffeine is like your lost dog? Literally, bro, she's acting like it's a loved one that has returned to her. <laughs> I think in her head she just met God. I don't know what it is, but she kind of built like dry bones. My bitch got a body like Alba. What up, dog? I'm the alpha. <laughs> what up, dog? I'm the alpha. No, no, no. What up, dog? I'm the moon man. Also, he looks like he's trying to get a perfect score on Just Dance when he's throwing those punches. Just put the Wii remotes in his hands and it's perfect. So you better watch out, bro. And that goes for anyone around him. His mom definitely paid that model like $100 to shoot a 15 second TikTok with her son. So the weirdest thing just happened to me. So I'm like kind of shaken up from it because I don't know what just happened. Oh, but I got it all on camera. Dude, stop zooming in and out. You're going to give me a seizure. You're just like, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. Just tell your story, which you are 1000% over dramatizing and just leave it. Okay, so pretty much I was using the bathroom. I heard this thing. This weird ringing sound, and I decided to record because I was trying to figure out where it was coming from. Money, this I'm sitting on the toilet, I had just got done peeing, so I'm hearing it and I'm talking to myself. The next video is what I'm going to insert the captions. Da -da -da -da. Get it. I've played that clip back five times, and I'm yet to gather any sort of storyline from that whatsoever. The only part of the story that I understood at all was that she took a piss. Actually, no, never mind. Uh, the fifth time around, you notice that she mentions that she's talking to herself. And I'm talking to myself. <laughs> did I just went to Arby's? <laughs> just the most substanceless content <laughs> I think to ever exist. I'm sorry, the entire post, did I go to Arby's? Yes, I did. Like, <laughs> What? All right, all right, all right, listen, listen, no hate, no hate at all. He went to Arby's, good for him, good, great stuff. But just imagine if everybody who's ever been on the property of an Arby's posted about it. I would never open social media again. Like, listen, I get it. TikTok is vapid content. It's pointless. Most of it just makes no sense and has no meaning. That was a lot of what Musical.ly was, and that was a decent amount of what Vine was. But like, let's just dissect this. Did I go to Arby's? Yes, I did. This would only make sense if this guy was like a foreign exchange student studying in the United States trying to test out his English or something. So many questions, but so little answers. Why is there a light dangling in the middle of the shot? Why is he soaking wet? Why is the cameraman hitting this little individual with a stick? Are they on a construction site? And is he bleeding from the mouth, or did he just have a ring pop? Go on, Rachel. Hey, Ricky, let her, let her, let her. Do you smoke? Ah, okay, so that's the question that a lot of people are asking you. I got a different one. Why did you treat yourself to the family-sized pack of bugles? Oh. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. This is actually worse than the, did I just get Arby's? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. This is, do I smoke? Yeah. Yeah. Psh, what do they know, right? Yeah, your dumb parents want to like preserve their child and their health and safety. Psh, lame. Oh, I don't think it's on it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, what? okay? What a bizarre thing to brag about. I mean, didn't you literally just get caught doing that like eight times or something? What is wrong with you? Yeah, I know, eight times, better be nine. <laughs> I'm just so cool. Bro, get help. Woke up one day like fuck it. I this dude 100% asks you for a pencil every day of class. Just giving me that energy, you know? He walks in 15 minutes late. Hey, can I get a pencil? Bro, bring your own. Did you not bring a pencil for any day this school year? Yeah! No, yeah, I figured I was just making sure. How long will we be together? Forevermore. Never one. Without the other. Never one. Without the other. And you are recording this... Why? Like, listen, bro Tato Chip, you're clearly about to have an intimate moment with your woman. Why do I need to be let in on that, okay? Like, I don't want to see this at all. Turn off the camera. <laughs> Bro's a 10 elixir card.
got it? No way. There's no way. Ladies and gentlemen, U.S. taxpayers especially, uh, this is what your money is going toward, you know? Our public facilities like firefighters. No disrespect to firefighters, but, um, was, seriously? Was this really called for? Exactly. Exactly. That can be a ray of sunshine. I could be a raging inferno. This comment somehow managed to misspell both angel and devil. I could be an absolute f***ing avalanche. All depends on you. Really though? Like, let's just be honest. If I'm even so, so, so nice to you, I'm the nicest person on planet Earth. I feel like there's still maybe like a 5% chance that you wake up cranky. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you wake up cranky and you begin to record a TikTok in which you cast a spell on me and commit a curse on me. So I was getting a tea that matches my outfit today, and as I was doing so, a man approached me. All right, I'm ready for anything. Let's hear it. And he said, oh, wow, you look good today. And I said, I know. And then he looked at me. It's almost like, ew, women are confident. That's gross. Did he say that? I, you didn't. What? Wait, I'm so lost right now. Like, he was a little bit surprised, and you interpreted that surprise as him thinking that women being confident is disgusting and that he's disgusted? You're on crack. No, men are weird. Stop talking to women you don't know. Also, women do not get dressed up and look nice for the gratification of men. I look nice so I can take a good selfie to send to my friends, so they can tell me I'm really pretty. Thank you. Please stop talking to women that you don't know. That's just weird. It's... Are you not doing the exact same thing right now by posting this video onto TikTok that has millions of strangers and millions of people that you don't know? So, I don't understand. Why is somebody in, in person talking to you that you don't know any better? If anything, posting on TikTok is more weird. Oh, 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 okay. Lamborghini. <laughs> Yo, chick, she's so thirsty. I'm in there too also, why are they flipping off the cameraman that they paid to record them? So we know that some paparazzi isn't outside your house and you're shading the paparazzi. That's like either your mom or one of your friends. I'm black and I'm proud. All of the races can sit the fuck down. I know that's not her song, but who wrote that song? Like, all the other races can sit down? It's a little bit racist. I'm no reason to culture around. Ma'am, you are of a European complexion. If you black, match the sound. No, they're ruining Suicide Boys. <laughs> I'm retarded. I thought I said not to use that type of language, Missy. Now be on your way, and we'll call this a warning. If I had a time machine, I would go back into the Disney Studios when the idea for Zootopia was conceived, and respectfully, I would I would murder everybody in the boardroom. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Ugh. Dude, I know for a fact he felt so cute posting this. Oh, I feel so cute posting this. I'm gonna get so many compo mompoments from all the glowy woeys. <laughs> it's been a nice run, guys. Gonna kill myself now. No matter how hard I try, I can't escape the pain. <laughs> That's quite the sense of humor you got there. What's going on with you, buddy? You, you got something to say? <laughs> what, what's going on? Nice sense of humor you got there. Okay. What, what does that mean? Why did it sound like you had something else to say? Listen, my diggity dog, not only did you compliment her in one of the most, like, uncomfortable ways possible, it's also not a very good compliment. I don't think her sense of humor is, is that great. Actually, have not. Oh, <laughs> you well. Hmm. I can try it. Thank you for the suggestion. Somebody left a comment on this guy's video saying that you should freeze sour gummies because it makes them taste better, and this guy is like going through in, like an entire mental enlightenment. Frozen sour gummy, huh? So, like, any sour gummy? I can just. Put in the freezer and frozen. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. I'll bite. Sure, I'll, I'll give it a try. Ooh, I'm actually intrigued about this. <laughs> okay, dude, I make so many jokes about people being on drugs, but this guy has to be on drugs, right? Like he has to be. Mixed between a Z and a J, so like 
I use user pronouns. Yeah, and if I'm ever required to call you those, I'm gonna have a seizure. She's going to the store. She's having your friends over. Dude, I don't know why in all these TikTok pronoun videos where they try to teach you how to use their pronouns, they always use the example like, Bun Self is having Bun's friends over. Like, Doug, you don't have friends. Hi, sir. Can you record me for a school project, please? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Totally got him right there. Absolutely pranked to death. I mean, I literally cannot think of anything funnier than tapping a random stranger on the shoulder, asking them to record you for a school project, and then acting out a learning disability while sticking out your tongue and stomping the floor. I mean, <laughs> hilarious. Today we're looking at a TikTok cringe compilation because why not? I say screw it, but before we do this, please leave a like on this video for the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate it, and let's do this. She's a woman. There's no way she could stab three grown men. That's a bit sexist. A woman could easily kill a man. With the right motivation. Wow, dude. Great content. You know, you sitting there like an NPC, looking like you're about to fall asleep, and I guess lip syncing a popular movie line. Wow. You're going places, bro. It's sad, too, because you know the comments are definitely filled up with reassuring things like, Oh my god, he's husband material! Nah, I'd say that he's more like pre-algebra material. Excuse me, guys. It's, it's coming up. Hey. Sir, you dropped your iPhone, sir. What's up? You dropped your iPhone. Are you sure I dropped this? This is like the brand new iPhone 13 Pro. Yeah, you just dropped it right now. Oh, great. Let me guess. This is like one of these honesty pranks where you walk behind someone and as you pass them, you drop something expensive or valuable to see if they'll alert you and tell you, hey, bro, you dropped something. And then pretty much determine your entire moral character based on whether or not you alerted them that they dropped something or not. And usually how this goes is if you tell them, hey, bro, you dropped something, they'll let you keep the thing that they intentionally dropped. You're sure? Positive. Well, sure, I'm actually recording a video right here. And oh. since you were honest, officer, I actually want you to keep this brand new iPhone 13 Pro. Yeah, what did I just say? I promise I didn't watch that before recording this, I swear. I hate these pranks because if someone's like, hey, bro, you dropped this, and then you're like, oh my god, dude, you're such a good guy, you're so honest, thanks for telling me. Well, it's like, dude, they're still a stranger, they just did one nice thing for you. For all you know, they could be like a horrible person. Like, you know that guy that you just said was a nice person and a really honest stand-up individual for telling you you dropped something? Yeah, he's a pedophile. How do you look now? Not only that, but he fed my dog a chocolate Hershey's bar. Oh, seriously? Yeah, man. Do you know anybody at home who does not have like the iPhone 13 Pro yet? My son doesn't even have a phone, man. And his birthday's actually on Christmas. I want to get him one, but I don't know if I can afford it. I actually have a second brand new iPhone right here for you. You can actually give this to your son. That's what you get for being honest. Are you for real, man? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Can I give you a hug? Are you crying? Can I give you a hug? Yeah, of course. You good? Like, listen, I know this prank is obviously fake, and if it's real, I'll actually donate my liver to charity. But, like, dude, this reaction is so insane. It's like, are, are you crying? Are you crying? Are you crying, you broke idiot? Are you crying over a phone, you poor bastard? Wow, crying over an iPhone? What are you on, government assistance? What do you have, food stamps? What do you have, welfare checks? You're poor. You're broke. You're broke. What would you do if I was your server and after you ordered your food, we made eye contact and I asked you slowly, is there anything else I could get you? Yeah, actually, if you wouldn't mind, could you grab me some bleach from the custodial closet? I'm going to chug the whole thing, bro. Why would you make this? I'm not a female, but I can't imagine a single female sees that and is like, oh my god, he's so charming. He's so dreamy. It's so uncomfortable watching this. Like, you licked your lips like that, and it wasn't like one of those quick little, oh yeah, I'm just going to lick my lips for like half of a nanosecond and it'll be done. You like put your entire lips back into your mouth, licked them, got all the saliva humanly possible on top of them, and then slowly let them like emerge back into society. Like, like, I don't know what, like, oh man. Are there any women out there looking for a leader and a mate? Yo, hairline check! That shit is receding. But I will give him credit because he was right to the point with his requests and his demand. Like, I mean, it's mad awkward, right? When you see just an old dude on TikTok being like, hey, uh, any ladies wanna get freaky deaky? It's like, yeah, man, you're weird. But like, I don't know, man, is it weird? I feel like for old people, right? Assuming this guy's like in his late 60s or maybe late 50s, I don't know. But I feel like that's, you almost gotta respect it. I'm sure this guy doesn't really understand what kind of content gets posted on TikTok. I'm sure this guy has no idea what a devious lick is. So he He's just like, hey man, this is who I am. I'm putting myself out there. I give him credit. Hey bro. Bro, you're gonna have to off some pants, man. You're gonna have to hey, you're gonna have to off some pants, bro. Hey! 
Yeah, that guy definitely has a house and is definitely not on drugs right now. Also, what on God's green earth was that head tattoo? I don't even want to ask. Like, did you see that it was like white people waves, but like with triangles? <laughs> I don't even want to ask, bro. So the other day, a man asked me why I was so annoying. I do it just for you, I told him. He did not like this! Why can't you just shut the fuck up, he says to me. Oh, I'll shut the fuck up. When you stop being hilarious. You know, every morning as I sit there drinking the blood of aborted fetuses, I think of ways to get under the skin of cisgendered men who think the sun shines out of their ass despite never wiping it themselves. It doesn't take long. Cause big words confuse you, don't they, Glenn? You only have three catchphrases. Sandwich, kitchen, misandry. Congratulations on having a fifth grade reading level. See, when you call me annoying, all I hear is, I hide my estranged relationship with my- No, yeah, you're just annoying. Like that's the end of the story. I don't know why you had to record yourself having a like breakdown over like a two sentence interaction, but okay. <laughs> like, dude, you got called annoying and you're coping by posting like a 30 second TikTok where you just prove him right. Mother under the guise of asking women to make me a sandwich. We all know your mother never made you that sandwich, so I certainly won't start now. <laughs> Like, this person is so unpleasant, but instead of just accepting the fact that they are annoying, they have to take this deep dive where it's like, oh, well, this has to do with men and sexism. It's like, no, you're just, you're just annoying, loud, and you talk really, really fast. Why are you asking me for notes all the time, boy? It's so I won't even take a glance. I would rather do my math. I are some calculus. I can't forget about my past. Robin Gan, Robin Gan. I don't study for the test. I got a hundred on the test. Anyway, I still out here every day for the boys. Bruh, that's literally why you single. Wait, that wasn't even cringe though. Why is that in the cringe compilation? That was fire. I won't even take a glass. I would rather do my math. Ha, huh? awesome calculus. I gotta study for the test. So heat, bro. Uh, goo goo gaga. Uh, goo goo gaga. Uh, goo goo gaga. Uh, goo -goo -gaga. Uh, 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 goo -goo -ga -ga. This sort of video can only just be a symptom of childhood trauma. Like, there's no way somebody who grew up with a normal upbringing just goes out and does this. Just, I don't know, man, just because they feel like it? Like, no, bro. Yeah, that person was definitely a victim of something horrible. That's all I'm gonna say. We need to talk about sexual assault in the metaverse. A woman was recently groped in Horizon Worlds, Facebook, aka Meta's virtual reality social media platform. The platform is actually still just in beta phase, and already sexual assault is occurring. Meta referred to the incident as absolutely unfortunate and said that the victim should have used safe zone, a tool that puts a protective bubble around you if you feel threatened. But I have a bit of an issue with this because it puts responsibility on the person being attacked to find their way out of it. It's not real! Oh my god, I'm sorry, but like, dude, this is insane. If I got teabagged in Overwatch, I'm not gonna file a police report. It's the same thing. If somebody killed you in Call of Duty, did they kill you in real life? No, they didn't. This, uh, assault in the metaverse, it's not real. Okay, end of story. Alright, so today we are going to be looking at some TikTok cringe that I stumbled across on my For You page. If you guys like these sorts of videos, be sure to leave a like and subscribe because only 30% of the people that watch these videos are subscribed. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, hi guys. So my name's Dasha. I'm a furry and I'm going to be teaching you guys some ways that my friends and I meow to one another to communicate. Three seconds in and I'm already incredibly concerned. Not only because anybody who introduces themselves as a furry is definitely going to do something weird to you, but also just because of the ridiculous amount of jewelry she owns. Do you see the two Death Stars hanging from her ears? Not to mention an entire store's worth of rocks and beads on her necklace. I'm going to be teaching you guys some ways that my friends and I meow to one another to communicate you do what with your friends? You meow with them? How do you end up at this point? And that's a serious question, right? We all grew up reading The Giving Tree, you know, rainbow fish, green eggs and ham. That seems like a pretty common experience among everybody. And then, you know, it seems like most people read Diary of a Wimpy Kid later on. And then maybe Percy Jackson and so on. But then, like, at what point did, did you decide to basically stray from anything remotely normal and begin surrounding yourself with people that meow at each other? When I was younger, you know, my mom used to say, you know, Achito, when you grow up, you could be president if you want to. Anything you can do, you can put your mind to it. And that really inspired me. What on earth do you think this person's parents told them growing up? Sweetie, when you grow up, you're gonna have the chance to become a furry, make TikToks about how you meow with your furry friends, and essentially bring tears to your grandparents' eyes as they witness their granddaughter descent into, uh, well, TikTok furry. And words just seem a little too difficult. So, here we go. Okay, so first off, we have the normal meow that we just use mostly to get each other's attention. Meow. Okay, then we have the dissatisfied meow. 
I cannot even express with words how actually uncomfortable I am watching this. Like, every time this woman meows, I gently take off my headphones. Not because it's too loud or anything, it's just a sound that humans shouldn't make. Like, I'm literally getting goosebumps out of, like, my body rejecting this noise. God, I, I don't want to do this. Then the angry meow, but we only use this one on rare occasions, because overall we're a very happy kitten family. <laughs> Then the happy or content meow. Meow. Bro, make it stop. Like, please, please. Whatever has to be done, do it. I don't want to hear this anymore. Like, oh my goodness. My ears, like, they didn't do anything to deserve this. Like, does this TikToker have beef with my ears? Did my, like, ears say something not nice to her or something? Like, because you would think the way she's harassing and honestly, like, assaulting my ears, you would think my ears have done something to, you know, physically hurt her. Okay, then one of the most important ones for our kitten family is the I want to go potty meow. It took me a really long time to master this meow because it it needs to be really specific in order for my kittens to understand. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, this is the most important meow for me, and it's the I need help wiping meow. The what meow? The, excuse me? Somebody's watching this right now definitely thinking that I'm falling for bait. Dude, this is a 1 minute and 30 second long TikTok, and it just seems far too elaborate to be bait. If this is bait, I fell for it, because if it's bait, which I doubt, this is the best bait I have ever seen. Okay, and last, but definitely not least, is our in heat meow, and we use this when we need a little bit more special kitten attention, if you know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean, and honestly, don't explain it. Just end the TikTok. The TikTok can be over right now, and the pain can stop. Meow. Oh, um, meow. Yeah. yeah, no, we're done. We're done. I'm calling quits. It's over. We're done with this TikTok. We're moving on. Um, I gotta take a- I actually have to take an actual break for this. Let me get my Gatorade. Hold on. Okay, we're going to the next TikTok. I did not deserve that. I am a straight man. My pronoun is daddy. <laughs> Your pronoun is what? Homeboy, you are just too old for this. Like, I, I see what you're going for. You're trying to do that e-boy type look on TikTok. How old are you, man? You're like in your 50s? No. Respectfully, you are well past the expiration date to be doing TikTok e-boy type videos. This could be somebody's father. Like, this man could be driving his son to golf lessons, and like, he would be able to pull off the look. He is not pulling off the look for this TikTok e-boy teenager type thing. I might as well get this over with now. I would never date anybody younger than 26. I'm also 36 years old. I just don't believe that. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. You look like that just doubled. You look like you could be 64 years old, and I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just stating the facts. First thing that leads me to say that is your voice. Respectfully, you sound like you were smoking cigarettes within the womb, and haven't stopped since, and the full head of white hair plus white-haired beard, again, isn't really doing anything to reduce that age. And I'm not saying any of this because it's a bad thing, I'm just stating a fact, right? There's nothing wrong with being old and, you know, like, growing up naturally. I'm gonna be, you know, 70 at some point in my life, too. Hopefully I make it that far, but it's gonna happen to me. But at at that point, I would accept it. Like, I wouldn't be trying to blend in with a group of, like, what? Like, 16-year-old goth e-boys? McDonald's versus Panera's cinnamon roll. Man, I feel like I'm gaining weight just by watching this. Like, no hate to this TikToker, but just by watching this, I feel like I am slowly turning into a Discord mod. A cinnamon roll like that, especially from, like, McDonald's, is something I could only have, like, once a year. Like, once every leap year, honestly. Very dry, and I'm tasting orange, not cinnamon. Also, it doesn't come warm. Tastes like Christmas morning. It's gooey and I could eat spoonfuls of this frosting. McDonald's wins because it has a stronger cinnamon flavor. Honestly, like, that's not even cringe, to be honest. I think, like, why did she have the Valorant accent? Did y'all pick up on that? You know, like, her cadence when speaking was somewhat of a Valorant accent, or almost like the Burger King foot lettuce guy. No hate, but it was sort of, like, robotic almost. Like, maybe she's an android. Men don't like loud women. <laughs> Guess what? Bubblegum, bubblegum in a dish. Half these men have shrimp dicks.
dude, your username is absolutely fact. Also, was the entire point of this TikTok just for you to have an excuse to scream and just be loud? I'm not worried about it. Are you happy with that? Are you proud of yourself? You screamed and yelled for no reason other than to disprove, I, I guess, an entirely factual point that that TikToker made. Men do not like loud women. Truth. Like, I'm sorry, but if there's a female two blocks away from me and I can hear her phone conversation because she's screaming, she needs to have her mouth literally glued shut because she's just gonna scream nonstop. Men don't like loud women. Women don't even like men! Also, why did she feel the need to get so freakishly close to the camera to drive this point home? If you want to be a loud, annoying nuisance on society, like, fine, I guess, but can you give me my personal goddamn space? The way you are centimeters away from your camera does not make me feel comfortable at all. And listen, I understand your goal is not to make me feel comfortable to begin with, but, like, who would want to be around this? Serious question. Gonna have some Red Bull. Just a tiny bit of Red Bull. Perfect. Gonna have some Red Bull. Just a little bit of Red Bull. And a bit of sugar. Just when I thought this video couldn't get worse. I love people that waste perfectly good food. Also, this guy's facial expression makes me want to break something. Also, wait, hold on one second. Why did he say, oh, I'm just pouring myself a little bit of Red Bull, just a little bit of Red Bull, just a tiny bit of Red Bull, when he's holding a can of Monster Energy? How is it even possible to make a mistake this simple? They quite literally stamp a massive logo that says Monster on every single can so that you don't accidentally forget what you're drinking. And it's not like a one-time slip-up. Dude, he literally non-stop calls it a Red Bull can. The only way this would make sense is if this guy took a used monster can, an empty monster can, and poured Red Bull into it and then drank Red Bull out of a used monster can, which would be the most disgusting thing I've probably heard somebody do in a while. Also, final thing, and I know this has only been one clip, so bear with me here. He's basically saying, normal people drinking Red Bull versus me drinking Red Bull. And in order to show the difference between him and normal people, he puts on a hat. Like, <laughs> I don't understand that. Do you think that normal people don't wear hats? Hats. Anyways, what's going on guys? So today we're going to be looking at a TikTok account that I was recommended to look at after all of my Topper Guild videos. Now this person is a Topper Guild clone essentially. A lot of food wasting, a lot of quote unquote humor videos, which I would probably only find funny if I was a Jelly Bean fan. Overall, just content that I can only see appealing to a very fringe minority of people. And people that quite frankly, if they're over the age of 10 and enjoy this sort of stuff, need to be looked after very closely. Because chances are, if you don't watch these people, close enough, you might turn around and they're biting a stranger. So the TikTok account that I'm looking at is a TikToker who goes by the name Bo Newton. And I find it so funny because he shares the same last name as Isaac Newton. And Isaac Newton was the guy who sort of like discovered gravity. So these two people share the same last name, except one of them is incredibly intelligent and the other one is incredibly not intelligent. Dude, imagine if they're related. I would actually cry if I had failed that gene pool so badly. Like I was literally inheriting the genes of a dude so intelligent that he literally changed the world and I'm making TikToks wasting food and misspelling brands. Talk about fumbling the bag. But yeah, today we're gonna look at some of Bo Newton's TikToks and leave a like for my suffering because I am suffering for you and let's uh, look at these. Just gonna have a little cheeky coke. Just a cheeky coke. Is it that hard? Like it cannot be that hard. You're holding a can of Pepsi. It says Pepsi on the side with the iconic Pepsi logo next to it. How do you not only say, oh, I'm gonna have a Coke when you're literally holding a can of Pepsi in the live recording, but also when you're looking back at the video and you can literally stare at the can of Pepsi, how do you type Coca-Cola? Also, why did you capitalize cola, but not Coca? Dude, so much is wrong with this video. Just gonna have a little cheeky Coke. Just a cheeky Coke. Just gonna have a cheeky little Coke. Just a cheeky little Coke. And gonna add a bit of sugar to sweeten that little Coke. Coke up just there, yeah, a little bit more sugar, a little more Coke. First of all, unless you're on an airplane, who takes a can of Coke and then pours it into a glass? The only time I would ever consider doing that is if I'm, you know, gonna put ice cubes in it and take it outside to drink. So you already lose points for doing that. Second of all, why would you add any amount of additional sugar to a soda, especially like a Pepsi or a Coke? Unless your goal is to literally get your foot to stop working and get instantly diabetes guaranteed, don't add extra sugar to your Pepsi or Coke, especially 
in the beginning when you added it to your monster energy drink, dude, you're literally gonna have a heart attack. But even then, it's not like you're just adding a little, little droplet of extra sugar. You're adding like an entire seasonal harvest of sugar to your one little cup of Coke, Pepsi, or Monster, or Red Bull, or whatever. Just gonna have some strawberry milk. Not too much. Just a little bit. Bruh, is this entire thing a troll? Because this is so obviously chocolate milk. And he obviously knows he's pouring chocolate milk at this point, right? Like, okay. All right, I get it now. He's intentionally messing up the drinks in order to piss people like me off. Well, I guess I fell for your trap, but um, you still make horrible TikToks. Just gonna have some strawberry milk. Perfect. And a bit of chocolate topping. Not too much chocolate topping. Chocolate topping? What? Maybe they have a different name for it in the United Kingdom or wherever you live, but it's just chocolate syrup, I feel like. Just gonna wash my hair a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, Jason. That's enough. I'll wash my hair a little bit. Just a little bit. Just my hair. Guys, I really can't tell you how much I dislike watching these TikToks. Like, it, I'm, I'm so serious. Like, I only reinstalled the app to find content like this to react to. But even now, as I'm, like, sitting here recording my reactions to it for content, it's still pretty painful. After I record and edit, like, four minutes of content, especially on these videos, I, I almost have to go downstairs and make myself a coffee just to make sure that I don't, like, tap out for the day. Especially with the hyper-obnoxious content like this and Topper Guild. I wish I could go to them personally and say, hey, can you guys stop wasting all your food what is what is that uh, all the syrup is left on the bottom can can you see that a little demo demonstration for ya so basically i pulled down my window she got, gives my mama a start i brought bro what uh, i'm sorry i'm trying to listen to what you're saying I, I see you have some sort of a mcdonald's coffee in your hand but that's sort of all i deciphered like what I what is this pull down my window she got gives mama slide i brought she pulls down my window she gray gave moss sliding dude am i losing it she gives it to me like this so i grab it like this and obviously it was full so anyway i grab it and the lid wasn't even on properly so it goes all in my car Oh my car! And then- Listen, nobody likes it when coffee spills in their car, especially when they get it through a drive through window and the person giving it to you didn't properly seal the lid. Yeah, it sucks. It's happened to me before. But you, of all people, to complain about food spilling unnecessarily? Dude, that's what you do on TikTok professionally. Because I'm extra, I got a McMuffin, right? By itself, just this, and McMuffin. Watching my figure. Anyway. I saute, goes over in my car. Not much. But it still went through my car. She's lucky enough that she had one of these in the back. Mac is what's good. Was that a question? I don't know what you're asking, to be honest with you. And to be fair, even if I did understand what you were asking, I'm probably not the person that you should ask, and I probably don't have an answer. Unless by some miracle, you actually asked the question, Hey, Achito, how do I grow on YouTube? Yeah, then maybe we could talk, but I actually doubt that that's what you said. And I honestly think there's a greater chance of my heart falling out of my butthole tomorrow night while I'm sleeping than that being what he said. Like, seriously. Wait, this one, he's doing the correct names for everything. Obviously, chips might sound incorrect, but that's just what they call french fries in the UK. But dude, he's putting tomato sauce on the fries, and he's like, I'm putting tomato sauce on the fries. So, is he trolling? I don't know, he's being honest in this one. It makes no sense. Well, I hope you enjoy your soggy, gross fries. I hope it was worth the 4,000 likes that you got. You guys might be wondering, oh, 4,000 TikTok likes? Well, how many? How much money is that? How many dollars is that? That's about uh, zero dollars, actually. None. You get nothing. Even for the views, that TikTok was probably worth about half a penny. And I'm, like, literally not trying to undersell it. it it's probably half a penny. I'm like the little boy who cried wolf because I exaggerate often. No, it's, it's literally half a penny. This is somebody's son. Ladies and gentlemen, today's video is very simple. I found a cringe TikTok compilation and we're gonna watch it and roast it along the way. So subscribe, leave a like, I'm only gonna say it once, and let's do this.
All right, dude, get a grip. What am I watching right now? Any joke that I want to make right now will not change the fact that a grown adult is recording this video and uploading it to TikTok. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, dude, this is comical fun for the whole family and definitely not drug-induced psychosis activity. I feel like the target audience for TikToks like those are recovering meth addicts and two-year-old babies. Not nah, because, bro, you're a grown adult behind a TikTok video making loud baby sounds. That's funny. <laughs> Get yourself a gamer. Oh, Pog. <laughs> if you team up with a gamer, you could turn your relationship into a number one victory royale. <laughs> Fine, fair enough, I'm not one to debate this fact. If you do end up dating a gamer, yeah, it's probably gonna be a victory royale, I, I guess. I don't know. But does the homie really have to go, ah, <laughs> after every statement he makes? Oh yeah, if you hang out with a gamer, it'll be great. Ah, <laughs> hey, uh, good morning. Ah, <laughs> it's like, bro, just speak normally, seriously. You've actually got a decent case on your hands as to why girls should date gamer boys, and then you just throw it under the bus by making these animal sounds. And we're also really good with our hands. <laughs> Why is bro holding the headset mic with his hand? It's not going anywhere, dude. Reading funny memes, part 11, Among Us edition. Uh, what you got there? A smoothie? <laughs> yeah, I know you're sus. I know you're sus. This right here is like a direct consequence of the evolution of high-speed internet. Like, this would not exist 10 years ago, swear to you. It makes me sad, too. It's just like, this is what kids are doing. They want to record reactions to funny, sus Among Us memes on TikTok, bro. I mean, is there a market for this kind of content? If there is, right, fill that consumer void, maximize your utility, get that bread. But I just have a hard time visualizing that people are gonna be watching TikToks like this and then consistently leaving a like. Like, who's your favorite TikToker? Oh, yeah, dude, I love of the Among Us reaction meme TikToker. It doesn't really roll off the tongue. I'm a fat cow! Yes, indeed you are, sir. Jesus Christ, wow, like, where do I even start with this clip? So just to run through exactly what we just witnessed, so a grown man in his shower in a full cow costume exclaimed that he's a fat cow, proceeded to yell out animal sounds, and then pour chocolate milk all over his body. But why? I know I'm asking some philosophical questions here on the Achito channel, but seriously, right? I, I don't know any person in my life, any friend, any distant relative, who would go to the point where they need attention that they're gonna pour chocolate milk on themselves. But not only that, that they're gonna be pouring chocolate milk on themselves while exclaiming that they're a fat cow dressed up in a cow costume. Like, Jesus, dude, if that's not rock bottom, I, I, I really don't know what is. I hope the dude who made that video was on drugs, because at least then there's some sort of an explanation as to why he did what he did. Did I just miss something? I feel like there's this weird trend of adults acting like actual infants on TikTok. Why? You're not quirky, you don't look funny, you look just insanely special, bro. If I see any adults acting like kids, bro, take this what you're doing on TikTok and do it on the side of the road in like San Francisco. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like do all that stuff that you're doing on, on your phone in real life, people are gonna assume that you're a drug addict. I don't know why I made monkey sounds, it was supposed to be baby sounds, but you get my point. Pranking my twin brother. I'm gonna make Greg think that my skin's falling off. Shh, Greg, is my skin peeling off? No, it looks alright to me. Ah! Ah! What have you done? Oh my god! Ah! 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 It's 
just a prank, silly. Oh. I can just tell these poor kids were victim of Morgs' content growing up, and this is what has become of them. Like, <laughs> they grew up watching Morgs, and boom, this is the results. I could obviously sit here and be like, oh, it was stupid because they act like they were doing a prank, but the brother heard him the whole time, so it's fake. Which is true, but normally when I say that, the reasoning behind it is because it's obvious why they're doing it, right? They're trying to get money. Why does anybody fake pranks ever? Well, because they can make money doing it. But bro, it's TikTok. You made a 10 second clip peeling a band-aid off your face. I don't think you made even enough money to pay for the band-aids that you wasted. Send this TikTok to your friend who's always such a little nincompoop. <laughs> <laughs> They're always trying to cause such a commotion, such a fuss. You nincompoop, I can't get I can't get enough of you. <laughs> This is legit a copy-paste of the first guy who was like, here's why you should date a gamer boy. Oh! Except this dude for some reason makes cat sounds. I don't know, bro. Consistent theme of just random sounds throughout this video. We had the dude yelling moo, this guy making cat sounds, the guy before just moaning. And of course, the fully grown adults making baby sounds because that's what kids like to watch. Authority figures making baby sounds. <laughs> <laughs> what you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb when you call them meant to freeze when these people talk, talk too much, much put, put the shit, shit in slow motion yeah i feel like an astronaut now that might be the worst singing i've ever heard don't don't attempt music don't attempt a musical career yeah. Also, don't think I skipped over that guy who was just making a demented face while random sound effects played. I think this is actually the new poison for children. Remember when we were growing up and they said, Oh yeah, don't watch Spongebob because that'll rot your brain. Dude, this is the modern day of that. I can't imagine allowing your kids unfettered access to TikTok where they're gonna see a bunch of stuff like grown men making baby sounds and then just people making weird faces with random shit playing in the background. I can't imagine that's gonna have long-term prosperous effects for your children. Send this TikTok to your friend who's always such a little nincompoop. All right, today we're looking at more Roblox TikTok cringe. This stuff definitely makes me depressed, but I do it for a bag. Speaking of selling out, you guys should follow my social medias, specifically my Instagram and Twitter. I post a ton of stuff on there and I answer almost all of my DMs. So if you guys want to talk to me, just hit me up on there. Links are down below and I'll throw up the handles on screen. Anyways, cringy Roblox TikToks, they're still being posted on a daily or hourly basis, I should say. And honestly, I mean, just look at these. I mean, this content is just a symptom of a dying nation. Nah, but side note, why does his back look like that? Am I the only one just generally weirded out by his back? Or is that supposed to be his chest? I can't even tell. Whoever rendered these textures onto this model did a horrible job. I mean, it's already bad enough that you're using your knowledge of 3D modeling to try to make Roblox characters look attractive, but at least do it right. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Also, his bicep kind of looks like the bra emoji. <laughs> Can't spell cute without you. You are the reason women carry pepper spray. Like if a woman ever feels, you know, unsafe alone at night or something like that, it's because of you, dude. Nobody who on Roblox says you can't spell cute without you, nobody who does that is really doing anything majorly good for society. And even if they are, does it even matter? Like they're still doing this. And at the end of the day, I feel like, you know, doing this kind of cancels out most of the good that you could do. If two plus two equals four, you plus me equals three. Yo, anybody else in the mood to get hit by a train right now? Just me? Anybody? You know, just lay down on some train tracks, close our eyes, see where we end up. Joking, of course, but man, this content really does suck. Bro said, if two plus two equals four, then you plus me equals forever. Like, those two have nothing to do with each other. Also, you plus me is maybe, I don't know, a day at most, because I don't know if I could put up with you for more than 24 hours. Or really anybody could. I mean, you post Roblox TikTok cringe on a frequent basis. Do you really think you're going to be cuffed anytime soon?
Let me catch my son or daughter posting TikToks where they're in Roblox throwing it back. Goodness gracious. Ay ay ay. Dude, Cardi B has really ruined an entire generation of young girls. Do you think this stuff would be posted pre-WAP? Well, I mean, probably, but like pre-2010s? Pre when this sort of content would be called empowering? Yeah, probably not. But besides the content itself, I feel like even worse than the content is the effect that the content is gonna have on young boys who haven't yet had a girlfriend or something. No, like seriously, imagine being a middle schooler who hasn't yet had his first kiss and then you're instantly spam recommended TikTok Roblox sexual videos and then they become addicted to watching it or something and then that becomes their frame of reference as to how real life women ought to be and can you see how that's a problem? I mean, I definitely can. Little Jimmy goes on his first date with a chick. Three minutes of time passes and he's in complete shock that the real life women hasn't started twerking yet. <laughs> Dance if you're homophobic. Okay. I mean, I should have predicted something whack like this was about to happen because of all the weird stuff we've been seeing on Roblox TikTok. I feel like it was only a matter of time until we started seeing some discrimination pop up. But I wasn't expecting dance if you're homophobic. Wow. What's next? Dance if you want to repeal the 19th Amendment? Like, what's going on, Roblox TikTok? You guys gotta control yourselves. Because I can honestly see there being a racism problem in the Roblox TikTok community in the upcoming months if nothing changes. With friends. Wanna get drunk and nasty. 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 Yo, Rev got the webcam mic. He said, Wanna get drunk and nasty. Wanna get drunk and nasty. How does this even sound? I haven't heard how the webcam mic sounds. Hopefully it sounds good. Guys, should I do the rest of my commentary videos from now on with this microphone? Bro, why are all these Roblox characters so heavily ripped and muscular? I can't imagine that that's a reflection of how they are in real life, you know? I can't really imagine that any of the people that are playing as these characters have the same body type. No comment. That is just actually disgusting. I hope the next time you see your grandmother, she has that video that you just made saved on her phone so that she can watch it in front of you and witness your pure embarrassment. You guys gotta join some clubs at school. This is not good for you. Posting on TikTok like this cannot be a good use of your time. Also, come on, man. I can't catch you posting cringe on main like this. Like, this is your girlfriend, and now you've pretty much convinced her to roleplay with you on Roblox? Like, like, come on, man. You could do so much better. Take her out for a nice dinner date at the Cheesecake Factory or something. Like, I, I cannot be seeing this anymore. For both your good and my own good. Like, for your good, because obviously this is not attractive for your girlfriend whatsoever. And for my own good, because, well, frankly, the more and more content that I see, see like this, the more and more I want to stick my head into a beehive. I don't shut up, I grow up. When I look at you- My dad died. Ah, oh, sorry for your loss. I have a GF. And I have a dad. Going to hell. See your dad there. Okay, alright, hold on. Excuse me. I don't know what's worse, that little comment right there or the dance if you're homophobic thing. Like, that, that. this is just vicious. What is going on, Roblox TikTok? I mean, on one hand, you have this incredibly over-sexual content where these, I don't know, it's like female Roblox avatars doing incredibly suggestive dancing, and then on the other hand, you have just, <laughs> just vitriol and hatred. She said, I'll see your dead dad in hell. Oh my god. Dude, that sounds like what those YouTube troll bots were saying about Jack Jacksepticeye's dad a couple months ago. Yeah, that's too far, my dude. Bacon hairs. Rich Robux is strong boy. Yo, Gramps on Roblox TikTok? Excuse me? You know, just when you think you've seen it all, you get shown somebody's grandpa showing his Roblox avatar preferences on TikTok, man. I don't even know at this point. On one hand, I think it's cool that this guy's grandpa is, like, relating with the kids and stuff, but on the other hand, it's kind of sus. Hey, I'm not trying to be ageist or anything, but I feel like, I don't know, man, maybe he should try Scrabble. I don't know if playing Roblox is a very common thing for the elderly community, but I'm not here to judge. Okay, well, that's just a lie. I'm a commentary YouTube channel. Pretty much my entire channel is judging.
You know how in Discord calls you can turn down somebody's volume if they're just too loud? I wish you could do that to other human beings. Like these people, these squeakers that are just so loud and have these obnoxious voices. I just wish I could drag a little bar to the left side and turn down their IRL volume so it wouldn't, you know, pierce my ears so much. Is that too much to ask for? Hey God, can you please do that? So, quick discussion. Do you believe dogs have gender? Okay, call me mean, call me a cyberbully. Who actually spends their free time pondering these sort of questions? The fact that you think about this stuff on your own is weird enough. Like, you are a weirdo for that. But I think the fact that you went and made a TikTok about it, expecting people to answer your questions and, like, be as interested in this topic as you is freaky. You say to you, Bobby, but I ain't heard of you. Okay, what's going on guys? Today we are going to be looking at more TikTokers that belong on the registry. Now, it's very simple. If you don't agree with my opinion, uh, you touch kids. Okay, very simple. Starting with our first guest on the show, our highly distinguished, highly classy, highly brain damaged individual who wants to know if dogs have gender preferences and gender identities. Now, I'm tempted to say that the automatic answer is no because gender is a human societal construct. Do you have friends? Do you talk to your friends about this stuff? Nah, like, I'm actually so serious. Does he? Like, seriously. Like, is this guy's idea of a good day, him going around his town talking about the gender identities of dogs with random people on the street and filming it for TikTok content? Because that has to be one of the most pathetic things that you could ever do with your time. Like, I actually have more respect for the people that go up to strangers and ask gay son or thought daughter than I have for people who ponder the gender identities of animals. Because at least with the gay son, thought daughter, and interviews, I'm somewhat entertained. With this, I'm just like, get this shit off my screen. This is disgusting. A human societal construct. So naturally, that shouldn't apply to dogs because dogs are not human. That's a real sentence that came out of this guy's mouth. He actually had to say, dogs are not human. Like, I'm curious, did he say that to fill up time in the TikTok so that he can get more shares and do better in the algorithm? Or did he actually find it important to highlight the fact that dogs are not human beings? Like, I'm gonna blow my head off, dude. What is going on? Any of the gendered characteristics that we apply to male dogs and female dogs are just an extension of our own human constructs of gender. No, actually, if I see a dog with his balls hanging out, running around barking, screaming, biting everything, I'm not gonna think, wow, that dog is displaying masculine human traits right now. I just think that's a male dog behaving like a male dog does. But then, on the other hand, I think dogs do have society in a way. They descend from wolves and a basic type of pack structure. Otherwise, humans wouldn't have bonded with dogs because humans and dogs slash wolves are both social animals. So if dogs are social animals, do they have social constructs like gender? I really don't think I can answer this question. If I see a dog with a schlong and some testes, that dog is a he him, okay? End of story. A dog isn't gonna come up to me and get mad at me for misgendering him, okay? A dog isn't gonna ask me to use they them pronouns, okay? Like, seriously, do you guys not understand this? I mean, maybe they don't because only in this video did this guy come to the realization that dogs and humans are not the same. So, hey, who knows? Maybe people genuinely believe that dogs are capable of displaying gender identity. Anyways, next up on the TikTok Wheel of Freaks, we have have a parent who uh, pretty much raises their kid over FaceTime, and when they are FaceTiming their child, apparently a big thing that they do is teach their little ass kid how to properly use pronouns. I have a really proud moment that I want to share. So I'm a long distance parent, and... Quick sign up, by the way, how would you feel if your mom was a TikToker, like, posting this sort of stuff? I would put myself up for adoption. If I discovered this, I would, I would just, like, disown my own parent. It's a scary thought to think of life if my mother, uh, used TikTok and get garnered validation on TikTok from teenagers. I get to typically talk to my kiddo through FaceTime. And we've been working on my pronouns for probably about a year now. Oh my god, one year? and you haven't given up yet, obviously your kid doesn't get it. Lil Bro hasn't even developed object permanence and you want to educate him on some, like, complicated English subject that a lot of people, even still as adults, don't understand? You gotta stop. Like, do something fun with your kid. Play I Spy. You're apparently a long-distance parent. Uh, like, play a game with your child over the phone. I'm not saying that this parent isn't doing those things. It just seems so weird that you would make a TikTok about it because that makes me think that that's what you're primarily focused on 
down. And the fact that you said that you've been doing this for a year, that also makes me feel like this is what you're mainly focused on. Everyone that she's with on a regular basis doesn't use my pronouns correctly. Oh, the humanity. A bunch of four-year-olds don't understand that in rare cases, women choose not to use she, her pronouns. Wow, dude, that's a tragedy. Um, and so that's a really, really hard sort of like line to walk for her um, because she's not with me all the time. Um, don't assume my gender. Actually, you know what? I really agree with this cause. I'm gonna get my own shirt that says don't assume my gender. I really think this is a great idea. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Anyways, this next TikToker believes in actual segregation. I'm going to be real and I don't give a fuck what anybody say. Black children need to be separated from white children and any other race when it comes to education. My response to that? No, they don't. <laughs> like, dog, Plessy versus Ferguson happened for a reason. Like, the whole point is to stop discrimination and segregation. Because no other race, especially white people, will tell the black person's history truthfully about where they come from, who they are, and what they are. Do you understand that there are more classes in school than just history? Have you heard of mathematics? Also, what does learning somebody's personal heritage and history have to do with, like, learning about world history and, like, Mesopotamia? Does this guy think that in class, students are gonna learn about their own personal history? No, that never happens. The white person will only suppress the black person's history to maintain their genetic survival to bring about a new story that doesn't even exist. Okay, what is this guy saying at all anymore? I'm not catching any of this. I think he's talking about one thing. He's talking about, like, historical accuracy, and then he talks about genetic survival? <laughs> wait, wait, what? A new story that doesn't even exist. Dog, do you think history teachers are coming into class with, like, a fiction novel and telling it like it's fact? Like, you're saying that teachers are coming into classrooms and making up stories and telling it to their kids or their students as if it's fact. That's just not happening. Never in my life have I heard anybody complain that their history teacher comes into class and says, Hey guys, the dinosaurs? Yeah, they were never real. The fossils were planted there by the government. I'm sure it's happened once or twice, but for the most part, like, I'd say that history teachers are decently trustworthy, and if they're not, they get fired. But also, putting that aside, right, like, you're saying that in order to solve the issue of a small amount of history teachers not representing history accurately, is to, like, literally just make discrimination legal? Like, make black-only and white-only schools? Like, I'm sorry, but that is straight-up retarded. It sets us back 70 years? 50 years? I don't know. But yeah, I'm sure some random shirtless guy with five followers on TikTok has solved every single problem with modern education education in the United States of America. Give me a break, dude. I'm just so sick and tired of the people on TikTok that think that they're smart, like honest to God. Like you literally post on TikTok, your credibility is sub-zero. Someone on TikTok could literally post saying, hey, red is a primary color, and I would ask them in the comment section to cite their source. That's how untrustworthy TikTok is. So today I've compiled some TikToks that should really show you all why I hate the app so much. These TikToks range from cringe to disturbing to to just utter insanity. That's really about all you need to know. So like, let's just get into it, bro. A lot of people got something to say about the fact that I got six kids with six different men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no wonder, man. That's not normal a at all. You've had kids with six different guys? Like, I mean, I guess I understand two, and in rare cases, three, but six? Like, I don't understand. Did the first five inherent to your hairline gene, so you were going for the normal hairline with your six? No, 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 I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm sure she has a perfectly good explanation as to why she uh, procreated with six different individuals. So I'm just gonna tell y'all why it is better to do it this way. If I had six kids with all the same dude... I get 34% of his income, which is only 680 a month. Ah, uh, okay, so it's just for money. Great. That's that's awesome, man. That's really good for you. You know, you're really empowering the people that are watching that video, especially the young girls. They think, wow. Hey, I mean, if she did it and she's siphoning free money from these innocent guys, hey, I mean, why shouldn't I do that? If I got six kids with six different dudes, I get 17% from each one of them, which is 340 a month from each one. $340 a month times six baby daddies is 2040 
That actually is so OP. The US government needs to patch this immediately. It's like, this just encourages women to just go out and, and get as many, you know, kids pumped into this world as possible just to get free cash. You know, it's obviously not like these kids are gonna have a great upbringing, especially considering the fact that their mom is literally vice chairman of the streets. So I don't really understand where that money's gonna be going if I had to guess. Maybe she's interested in purchasing more vanity floral masks. It's truly anybody's guess. So why don't you have six baby daddies? What do you seek to gain from posting this? Like, this is not some Gary V financial advice. This is not some, like, passive income thing. It's just depressing. Like, I feel like even as a woman watching this, I can't imagine feeling empowered or, like, feeling good or, like, optimistic after watching that. I just feel so- like, I just feel upset. Yo! When men exist, and then you're just, like, screaming in agony. Okay, bro, like, just replace men with any other group of people, and you are instantly cancelled. You're banished off, the, like, any social media platform, your hate speech flagged, like, it's it's over for you. Here's the thing, right? The content itself doesn't really bother me, right? Like, I don't really feel offended at all. Like, I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight, it's gonna be fine, but I just think the double standard is so, just, like, crazy. I feel like when it comes to content where you're, I, I guess, like, insulting or roasting or, I don't know, like mentioning any sort of group, the rules should be applied equally or else you get content like this. Like we as men sort of know that we need to be very careful about how we, you know, say things on the internet, like on TikTok. We couldn't make a video like screaming in agony when we see a woman because we know that that would be unacceptable. But I guess like the women don't know that the opposite is bad. And obviously this is not all women. This is a small group of people. But on TikTok, that small group of people is largely represented. Like part of the reason why I'm able to make these long videos about these cringy TikToks is because there is so much of this you know when girls walk around thinking they're so hot it's just like i am so glad you were able to overcome the patriarchal institutionalized brainwash that makes women hate themselves from a young age in order to capitalize on their insecurities and keep them submissive you are Okay, I got four words for this post. It's not that deep. It really isn't. Seriously, you didn't have to give me that game theorist's analysis of society and the country that we live in to explain why certain women are, like, subjectively attractive. What is going on with people? Like, whenever I feel attracted to a girl, it's not like I'm, I'm thinking about the social conditioning, the, the patriarchy, the capitalized society and submission and, and like, like, what? Dude, you gotta chill. I can't really help myself from thinking about these people outside of their posts. Like, I really do not see there being a feasible reality where these people are able to hold up normal conversations. I feel like any and all conversations I could ever possibly have with this person would somehow tie back to like the patriarchy. I swear to you, I could be talking about my allergy to pistachios and they would be saying, oh yeah, that's because of the systems. You know, you wouldn't be allergic to pistachios if we had more feminism. Like, you know, a woman president would have ended your pistachio allergy. It's like, dog, what are, the, like, what are you smoking? Because seriously, I feel like I, I might have to try some of that, man. To the men who watched my last video and took the time to comment letting me know that men have insecurities too, totally, and I'm so glad you're so passionate about men's rights and I hope you'll make a video about that and I'm more than glad to support you. However, that video was for the girls. I never said men don't have insecurities. I never said anything about men at all. And you can still have insecurities and still have more privilege than a woman purely based on gender. Just because something doesn't affect you, aka the patriarchy, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. That being said, if you're a white woman who can't understand how infuriating it must be for a white person to tell a black person that all lives matter, just think about that. Okay, so it looks like this one, I guess, just malfunctioned toward the end there. She started talking about, like, all lives matter. I don't know what that was about. I just really hope that she doesn't think that a man on the verge of suicide is somehow more privileged and has a better life than a girl that lives in a $5 million mansion and is TikTok famous. Like, you are literally delusional and off your meds if you actually try to argue that a dude who has, like, a miserable life is still somehow more privileged than a girl who has a great life. Like, that just doesn't make any sense. This is what the patriarchy looks like. Men? Women. Oh yeah, man, that's some irrefutable evidence right there when you put one hand above the other. Like, that's just... <laughs> Like, I can't argue with facts like that. Yeah, I mean, like, why would you research an actual source to prove your point when you can just do that thing with your hands? Like, <clears throat> yeah. Now, a lot of men seem to think that when women try to build ourselves up and say we want more rights, they think that instead of doing this, 
we're doing this. They seem to think we're taking rights away from men. Who? Who actually thinks that? I, I, I've never met anybody in my life who thinks that. I certainly don't think that. I don't think women getting the right to vote, like, whenever that happened, meant that men lost the right to- Like, who- Like, what? Like, what? <laughs> who actually thinks that? You're, like, making up these false opinions to argue points that are never made. Really shows your oppressive nature, and the fact that you don't think we deserve everything that you have. So, do you want to keep it to yourself? You aren't losing anything by us gaining something. I mean, bro, like, what don't you have? You have this, like, vibrant colored hair. You have a TikTok account where you can post whatever you want to it. I'm willing to bet you're financially stable. Like, what else do you want, dog? Like, bro, I'm sorry, but, like, why is everybody so ungrateful? I'm so grateful to have, like, even a, a meal on my plate every night. I'm grateful to have a platform that I know when I say something, there's gonna be at least a couple people that hear what I have to say. It's great. I'm so grateful. I feel like everybody on TikTok is just so ungrateful for, like, everything. Like, we live in a pretty great time. You know, obviously you know, minus COVID and everything, I feel like the state of our, like, what we're able to do and what we're able to achieve is so, the ceiling is so high. But yet, I feel like on TikTok, all these people that I'm reacting to, all they want to do is complain. You know, not too long ago, iPhones didn't exist. The internet didn't exist. So if I ever become ungrateful for having the opportunity to just speak my mind and somehow make money off of it, please, sh shut me up. Like, remind me. Things that don't make sense thanks to the patriarchy. When ladies do not shave their armpits or their legs and occasionally their upper lip, the male species will say, Ugh. Okay, so this guy is clearly on something. He's jumping up and down. He's making the cuckoo expressions like he's some sort of the like, kid's cartoon character. He's extra animated. He's extra wacky. What is he gonna say, bro? Gross. Meanwhile, in Penis Town, we can have literal pubic hair on our face, and it's seen as cool, sexy, hip, trendy. Yeah, you forgot to include the word normal. It's almost like men are biologically programmed to be growing more facial hair, like, at an exponential rate compared to women. I know guys who, if they don't shave for one day, it looks like they're a caveman. For girls, that takes a while, okay? So I think the whole point is that, by nature, men are supposed to be hairier. Like, that's just a fact. Men? Check your watches. Most of us are not on Pacific Standard Time. No, we're on f***ing double standard time. But then again, maybe this makes sense. Perhaps the reason some men are so prone to act like dick is because the same hair that's down there is also up here. Man, cool story, bro. Good morning. I've had my coffee and I'm reading my feminist literature. Dude, it's crazy. You can just tell one day at middle school recess, he just got roasted a little bit too hard. You know, maybe someone overstepped the roast boundary and hit this kid at the core. And from that day forward, he started reading on toxic masculinity and the rest is history, man. He went down the pipeline and then, I don't know, 20 odd years later, he's on TikTok talking about uh, women with beards because who knows. I've had my coffee and I'm reading my feminist literature. Well, it's time for a little rant. Stop staring at my nipples, Chad. Did you know there was a study done that just asked women what they would do if men didn't exist for 24 hours? For 24 hours, only women would exist on the planet. You would think that the responses would be something crazy or bonkers. Like own a zoo. I'd fly a rocket across the sky. Set fire to the house of that one toxic ex. All right, dog, the little jokes you're trying to squeeze in here, not really working for me. You know, oh, set fire to that one toxic ex, bro. Not the, not the best, not the best. Maybe stick to the cringe TikTok posting. Let's try to stay away from the little micro comedies. Also, dog, what did they put in your coffee? Like, you're going a million miles per hour with this speaking. I'm a feminist literature and then the, 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 the patriarchy and the service with the women. But alas, these were none of the top answers. The most common answer for what women would do if men didn't exist was go for a walk at night alone. The following answers were wear whatever I wanted, followed by sleeping outside under the stars. What the actual is safety and peace of mind too much to ask for? No! Men, check your goddamn privilege. Have a splendid day. Hey, thanks, man. Really nice of you to wish me a splendid day. I will be having a splendid day, actually. And honestly, man, thank you so much for giving me, like, three plus minutes of content to monetize. That was really thoughtful of you, man. People often ask me, what right do women not have that men do? They point to the law and they say, look, women are equal under the law. Which is great. I'm so glad the law supports women. I don't know why, but I just have a strong feeling this guy has been like the lead developer for some furry roleplay game on Steam. I literally cannot prove this at all, but I feel like I'm onto something. I don't know why. What a, like, arbitrary statistic to try to prove that women are have it, like, worse off than men. Like, I would not be surprised if this guy ended up pulling up a statistic that said, Oh, yeah, women are more likely not to hear bless you after they sneeze, which really just shows you the state of the union being so oppressive. 
Okay, so a few days ago, I posted this tweet, basically listing off things that aren't funny to be joking about. Okay, first of all, shut up. You are not the comedy police. You are unfunny, unoriginal. By the way, this guy making the TikTok, I'm pretty sure he got exposed for hooking up with a minor and also purchasing alcohol for a minor, so I wouldn't be too keen on listening to this guy about anything. All right, guys, let's talk about the term female. Now, female is a word that can be used to describe somebody of the female sex. Now, that isn't just humans. That is also animals. Yeah, but it's crazy how if I say, oh yeah, females are wildin', you know that I'm talking about women, right? I'm not talking about female dogs or female caterpillars. So when you say females always be tripping over blank, it could mean anything. You could mean an animal. Yeah, but you know that that's not what I'm talking about, and whoever I'm saying, oh, females be tripping to, knows that I'm talking about women. Like, human women. Like, what? <laughs> Bro literally proved my point. Also, girls and women and females don't care if they're being called females, at least from my experience, right? Like, I'm sure there's a couple oddballs, but I get comments from women, and I, I see comments from women on my videos that say, yeah, I, I, I do not give a shit if I'm called female. Like, who would? You could mean a woman, but there's already a word for that. Women, you could mean a girl, but there's already a word for that, girls. So back to the point that I was trying to make about females meaning any animal. Um, when you call a woman a female, you are stripping her of her humanity. That has to be one of the most retarded things I have ever heard. What? Pretty much everybody that I've ever met uses female and women and girl interchangeably and synonymously. Get off your high horse, bozo, and start facing reality. Because in our vocabulary, we call human females women. There's a word for that. It reminds me a whole lot of when people called women bitches, a term for a female dog. That says far more about you than it does about anybody calling a woman a female, bro. Legit, maybe 0.1% of people thinks that the word female and bitch are equally the same. But hey, bro, if you're so confident that they mean the same thing, go up to two different girls and then, you know, refer to one of them as a female and refer to another one as a bitch. See what kind of reactions you'll get. I guarantee you the one that you call the bitch will be much more upset. And we all understand why we shouldn't do that. Right? Yeah, dude, whatever you say, y you're onto something, I'm sure, I'm sure you're going places, but yo, what's going on, guys? So, I haven't made a video about Roblox, TikTok, cringe, or children playing Roblox and being cringy on TikTok since March of this year, but whenever I've dropped these videos previously, you guys seem to like them, so if that's the case, leave a like on this video, I greatly appreciate it, and yeah, let's take a look at some Roblox, TikTok, cringe. <laughs> Bro, I rate you negative a thousand, bro. Stop thirst trapping through Roblox on TikTok and just get on a dating app, seriously. Also, someone has to explain this to me in the comments. I've seen this so many times. Why do people choose to have the Roblox character only have one leg? Like, they do know it looks ugly as shit, right? But if there's a good reason that some people do this, like, I want to hear it. Like, did selling your leg on Roblox give you free Robux? Like, does it give you in-game currency to donate your limbs to charity or something? Because that makes sense. That's an economic investment. I, I, I would understand that, but if people are doing it because they think it looks good, I mean, wow, that is troublesome. See this, we want this, we love this, we need this, but this, yeah, we don't need this. Okay, damn, I don't know what the default Roblox character did to you. I mean, I feel like we do need him as a placeholder before people choose what they want to look like. I mean, how are you going to shit on the default skin? That's the skin that everybody starts out with, okay? You were the default skin at some point. I hate to break it to you. Like, I feel like that's so out of pocket. You know, what if some brand new Roblox player sees this video and thinks that he's now ugly and unappealing in the world of Roblox just because he's using the default avatar? How would you feel? Would you feel happy that you've now body shamed this random individual over the internet? You're practically a cyber at this point. Okay, I'm obviously joking about that, but seriously, why? Why? The, the default Roblox character is fire. I, I'm done. 10 Robux, okay? And I give you the time of your life. You may want it. 
I'm like, yo, no, no, listen, 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 wait. I actually kind of feel bad for that guy. I mean, we're often told, oh, dude, go ask her out. The worst thing she can say is no. But in this case, she literally sprinted the other direction and started jumping in the air to try to run away faster. Like, that, that I, I would just feel like a monster at that point. Like, I'm just asking out a girl, hey, girl, you want to, you know, have the time of your life with me, you know? And then she sprints the other direction. I'm just like, wow, am I that repulsive? Like, I, that would be just the worst. Take her out, go out to dinner, do something actually romantic. I'm sorry to break it to you, but using Roblox's in-game firearms to spray bullets onto a wall to make it look like a heart is pathetic. Like, you need to go outside, you need to ask out this girl, and bring her to someplace nice to eat. Like, actually do something. This isn't real, you're playing a video game. Like, I I'm actually kind of pissed off now, because either that was done as a skit, or this guy's actually just this sad. I'm sorry if this is new news, but the Atrito channel is not a safe space for e-daters. Dude, oh, oh uh, this is someone's kid. I'm so sick of people being like, normalize this, normalize that. Like, bro, look at this TikTok. This TikTok is literally a result of your thinking to an extreme level. Like, after everything gets normalized, everyone's gonna be behaving like this on TikTok. Bro, what if your mom finds this? How would you feel? How do you think she would feel, man? Like, I just, I don't know, man. I would just never, ever get to a point in my life where I would feel comfortable posting this. And I don't know, I just feel like it takes a certain type of person to think that posting a Roblox TikTok where they talk about pleasuring themselves is a at-all productive contribution to society on any sort of level. My man, we gotta have a talk about this. Have the kids been treating you well in school? Have you been getting bullied? Because what is going on with this intro? Why do you love Roblox furries? Seriously. Have you tried making friends in class or through a sport like basketball or something? Because this is not the route, bro. This is not the way. Like, I see this going one of two ways. You decide today to stop posting about how much you love Roblox furries and decide to get involved at your school and make some more friends naturally, which ends up with you having a pretty long, prosperous life as a multi-millionaire, or you stay down this horrible path of worshipping Roblox furries, which eventually ends up with you getting groomed on Discord by a 350 pound man named Pablo, not having a job, not having any sort of friends or family, and dying of a heart attack because you only eat fast food at the age of 27. I mean, it's really your choice. Bro, I'm done hearing y'all out. TikTok is not a safe place for children. Like, we're seeing it happen literally as we speak with videos like we just watched. But bro, imagine these people in 10 years. Whew, I'm praying this behavior shapes up. But nah, this stuff definitely corrupting the youth for sure, bro. I'm obviously exaggerating a little bit. I don't think when you're a child watching a tiny bit of Roblox TikToks is gonna turn you into some domestic terrorist, but it's also probably not going to end up with you becoming the most normal individual if we're keeping it real. How to be Kaka in just three steps. Step one. Be Kaka. Step two. Be Kaka. Dude. That one is a newborn. Like, that person was literally produced yesterday, and they're on TikTok making Roblox TikToks. What? What is happening? Nah, that's just unacceptable parenting to a new level. Like, there are parents that leave their kids in their cars on a hot summer day. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if letting your newborn on TikTok is really much better. Hey, baby girl. I think that clip's pretty old at this point, but I remember these Roblox kids for at least three months were trying to deepen their voices to sound like Corpse Husband and attract all of the Roblox females. I don't plan on forgetting that soon. I would say that you guys can do so much better, but I don't really think you can, to be honest. Roblox kids, sort of irredeemable after that. Anyways, I'm gonna pass the rest of the video to my boy Nguyen. Go sub to him, link down below, take it away. So Cheeto's having me on the video today to react to some Roblox cringe, so I'm not gonna waste any of your time. Let's jump right in. Cheating on my girlfriend friend prank. This is it right here, guys. This is an A1 prankster right here. You know, fuck Gideon, fuck Balin Levine, bro. This is the GOAT right here. They got nothing on this guy. 
Oh, here comes his girlfriend, guys. Oh, this does not look staged at all. No, no, no. No, th this looks legit. Girlfriend just strolls right in. That was a well-put-together prank, man. Good job. Like, he, he's got it better than Joey, the goat Joey Salads. What a great social experiment. So great that she knew all along it was this alt account. Oh my god, they kissed in a block game, guys. This is so romantic. I just can't imagine kissing in a block game. Like, only the most down-bad motherfuckers would do this shit. It's 2022. Imagine judging someone because they online date. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna judge you heavily, bro. Like, you don't even get to see your girl IRL. Like, what is the point? If you can't even meet IRL, I don't even see a point. Well, don't come crying to me when you thought you were dating some, like, Chadley type of guy and then old man Jenkins just happens to be on the other side. Like, I never got why people dated on here and I, I don't think I ever will. I've been saying it in, like, all my videos. I've been calling Roblox Tinder Light whenever I react to these. But yeah, if your Verizon internet decides to shit itself for the day, well, uh, no BBG for you. We know you only use us for Robux. Then why the hell would you date them? Rate us BBG. Okay, yeah, no one's rating you. And if they do, it's gonna be a nice solid 0 out of 10. Like, I see nobody unironically rating this. Or rating these two Roblox characters. Oh, the winner of the lift is so hard, they'll give him an 8 out of 10. I'll be surprised if there's comments on that TikTok giving actual ratings. Because there's no way in hell I'm going on TikTok to find these. Thank you, bad Roblox TikToks. Some be ours. Call us daddy is skinny, dates both of us at the same time, gives us brain. I know I didn't even play the TikTok yet, but I gotta chime in. What? What? Like, you're getting none of that glizzy gobble action. This dude's that down bad, he's begging for the gluck gluck in Roblox. I don't think it gets any more in the trenches than this, like, like, bro is way down there. I mean, this one has a lot to unpack here. I I'm sorry, I glossed over a lot of shit. And then it says, dates both of us at the same time. Yeah, that's how fucking shit these relationships are. They're like middle school relationships. Pointless, and they last like a week. But yeah, I guess that is Roblox dating for you. That's exactly why I call it Tinder like, because like, what are the odds you're gonna find something like, really serious on tinder your fave bestie heart eyes emoji ceo of sparkling emoji dumping them okay i'm sure this guy is a blast luke franchina 3.4 million followers 123 million likes and 10.5 million kids in his basement Yeah, so today we're gonna look at Luke Franchina, the worst TikToker I've seen in a bit. Now, not actually the worst. The worst would probably have to be, like, Topper Guild or somebody. But no, this guy is so annoying, dude, I swear. My friend and her boyfriend just broke up. Okay, what what are you doing? What are you actually doing? You're half naked in your bed telling me about some random girl that broke up with her boyfriend and I should care why? You're kind of freaking me out, bro. TMI, diggity dog. I don't want to know this. I don't care. It's weird. Please, you should have kept this one in your Snapchat save folder my friend and her boyfriend just broke up and so i unfollowed him on everything and it was <laughs> it was so satisfying uh okay got it man sure i i'm glad you had a good time unfollowing some guy that your friend dated and i'm glad that unfollowing this guy uh was so satisfying to you that it prompted you to take off your clothes go in bed and talk about it to people on tiktok goodbye peasant i've never liked you anyways you nasty <laughs> okay, this guy's a super villain, for real. Like that laugh right there, that was some super villain laugh. <laughs> this guy sounds like Speckles the Mole from G Force. If your man says he likes all of your imperfections, I need you to dump his ass. Wait a second, what? How does that make sense? I'm sure he's gonna go on to explain it, but seriously, how can you start off a TikTok by saying something like that? Your boyfriend says he loves your imperfections? <laughs> 
dump him? That's like telling a parent, wait a second, your child says they love you? Bro, adoption. Instantly put that kid up for adoption right next to Annie. Want him gone right now. He cannot say something so outrageous, dude. Man says he likes all of your imperfections. I need you to dump his ass right now, okay? What imperfections, honey? What are you talking about? <laughs> this is all great A natural deliciousness. Oh, come on, bro. You can't be like, oh, no, you don't have any imperfections. You're all perfect. No, dude, nobody's perfect. Obviously, not all girls are going to look like Ana de Armas and Margot Robbie, just like how not all guys are going to look like Leonardo DiCaprio, Giga Chad, and Greek gods. You get it? Everybody has their imperfections, dog. Me, for example, I got ADHD. It's hard for me to pay attention to some stuff. For you, you decided to shave an isosceles triangle into the bottom of your chin. But yeah, man, the whole point that I'm making is that nobody's perfect. But also, what a weird thing to say. Oh, if your man says he loves your imperfections, dump him. Dude, what if I said I hate your imperfections? Like, for example, if my girl's two front teeth were spaced out, the entire goal would be for me to find that cute or attractive. And obviously, you know, not like hating it or telling her to change that. Or going up to her being like, hey girl, are your teeth sponsored by Gap? I could slide a quarter in between those two things and get a free game of Donkey Kong, you know, like that sort of thing. Me personally, I think finding the imperfections in your girl or significant other is probably the better move. What imperfections, honey? What are you talking about? <laughs> this is all great A natural deliciousness. Somebody should set this guy up with Nikocado Avocado. I'm sure they would make a great couple. Okay, no, actually, somebody get in contact with Nikocado Avocado's management, not his weight management, his, you know, social media team. Dude, get in touch with those guys and tell them we have found Nikocado Avocado a new boyfriend. Dude, did you see the way this guy, like, physically jiggled after eating a, b a burger? Not even eating a burger, just taking a bite into one. These two were practically made for each other. Men don't like loud women. <laughs> well, men don't like to wash between their ass cheeks either. Okay, dude, please. Like, you just don't have to say that. Like, it's very simple. I go my entire day without saying something so gross and out of pocket. Like, seriously, bro, I, I promise you can do it. Like, I get it. This dude thinks guys are disgusting, even though he ironically wants to uh, date them. But please, don't give me these visuals, bro. So, are we gonna, are we gonna listen to them on what they do and don't like? No. <laughs> if he says you're too loud, dump his ass. <laughs> okay, that's the second dump his ass, and on his entire channel, he, he does that a lot, okay? You know, his whole little dump his ass bit. I think, honestly, my, my theory is that he's telling all these girls to dump their boyfriends, so the boyfriends become single, and he can swoop in and, uh, acquire all these boyfriends. It's a great day for you to let your man know he ain't shit, okay, and he's lucky to have you in his life. <laughs> yeah, I gotta stop you right there, big guy. Any girl that's gonna tell me that apparently I ain't shit is a girl that I am definitely not lucky to have in my life like do you not see the like little loophole in your logic here you deserve the world don't let anybody especially a man make you think otherwise okay yeah. so let me get this straight you want girls to tell their boyfriends hey boyfriend kill yourself hey boyfriend i would be everything and much more if i didn't have you in my life why what is the point of that dude mm, will this make him mad do it who cares? Oh, he's gonna get mad? You gonna hurt his little ego? <laughs> Who cares? Hurt it. Bruise it. Make him feel pain. <laughs> okay, now this one is easily the worst piece of advice out of everything I've shown so far. Literally, he's just saying, do something bad. Oh, what's that? Your boyfriend's gonna get mad if you shoot his dog to death behind his house? <laughs> Do it, obviously. Who does he think he is, John Wick? Obviously not. Your man ain't shit. Kill that man's dog, and then kill him. What's that? Oh yeah, of course I support Amber Heard. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Amber Heard, great person, great person. Unironically, the, the people that are fans of this guy, like, like straight up support Amber Heard. Like, amidst this trial, they purchased Amber Heard merchandise or some shit, and changed their Instagram bio to, I stand with Heard. But instead of spelling Heard properly, they spell it Her, and then with a D at the end, because, like, obviously Her, as in, like, the pro down and then heard. Okay, you get it. But yeah, I'm sure this guy has a great, lovely fan base full of people that have a lot of nice things to say about me. People that I'm sure if I went up to them and greeted them with a cordial handshake, definitely wouldn't spit on my face. And then try to deport me to Atlantis. Definitely not. I'm begging you. Take the microphone away from your man. Nah, bro, this one's way too relatable because I do use the microphone to record these videos. Is he talking to me right now? Hey, Luke, are you spying on me? Okay, the last thing we need is a half-balding, straight, cis male 
telling us their opinions. Okay, first of all, prick. I'm not half balding. I'm 18. My hair is in perfectly great shape, and honestly, I use coconut oil every single time I shampoo. Nah, but real talk, man, I'm sorry that I'm straight and cisgender. I, I wish that I could snap my fingers and then transform into Lil Nas X and James Charles all at once, and, you know, maybe you'd accept me then, but, you know. Damn, man, I'm just a gameplay commentary channel. Balding, straight, cis male, telling us their opinions. We hear that every second of every day, everywhere else. Can we normalize? No, you can't. I don't know what you're gonna say. You can't do it. Sorry. Nah, but like, if you start off on TikTok with, uh, can we normalize, dude? The chances is, is that you shouldn't normalize it unless you're gonna say, like, can we normalize giving to charity? In which case, I'll be like, okay, yeah, give to charity. But like, most of the time, people are like, can we normalize? And then they'll say some shit like being a 40-year-old man and still hanging out with third graders. And then, you know, obviously, I'll be like, no, we, we can't normalize that. Sorry, bro. Can we normalize not asking people why they don't want to have children? <laughs> I find it so strange. I, people are like, do you want kids? I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, why? They're so amazing. And then I look over and their kids like shitting and throwing up at the same time. No, thank you. <laughs> Okay, well, this one got, like, almost a million likes, and the fact that people in the comments unironically agree with that is just so sad, dude. I'm 18, I'm not even at the age where I should be even thinking about having kids yet, because I know down the line, I am 100% gonna have kids. I'm gonna give back to this world, I wanna raise a family, I wanna have offspring. Listen, no one's gonna force you to have kids, but I just feel like normalized not having any kids. It's like, well, I mean, come on, man. Like, you know, humans, we have genitalia in order to reproduce, to create kids. You know, we don't have these for no reason. Part of the cycle of life, I'm pretty sure, is, like, having kids and raising a family, but, like, I guess it's your choice. I just, that just sounds weird. No, we can't normalize that. Screw off. If I see a couple in their 30s that have been together for, like, five years, and I ask them, hey, are you guys planning on having kids? And they say, no. Never. I'm just like, okay, what a waste of genetics, honestly. There's any of these characters that I would want to smash in particular, <laughs> but smash. Brother, that is a bear. Uh, bestiality who? Nah, obviously I'm joking. I don't think he would actually do something like that. I think that was just a one-off thing because there's not really many of these that I could be attracted to or would be. <laughs> smash. Okay, maybe it was a two-off thing. <laughs> I'm just curious if there's any more that I would want to like, smash. Y'all are wrong for putting a car in there. Oh yeah, the car. That was the problem, not the not the living bear. Yeah, got it. Okay. <laughs> I think this guy has a, a thing for cartoon characters, specifically Disney characters. <laughs> okay, something about him. Like, vroom, vroom me, bitch. Smash? That poncho has a hold on me. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it was his personality. He was just so nice, you know? Oh my god. Ew. P.S. Y'all are sick. Uh, 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 you're not weaseling your way out of that one, boss. I did hear you say pass. Like, you were about to say smash, but then you realized, wait a second, she's probably two years old. Gotta say pass for this one. Don't you ever put a minor back on here again. Okay, I'm not James Charles. Don't do that to me. Oh my god, she's gorgeous, but pass. You might have caught on to this, but I am gay. <laughs> so, though women are beautiful, I am not- Don't- How dare you! Stop it! <laughs> oh, okay. Not really sure what else to say about that, honestly. I think it really speaks for itself. Alright, what's going on, guys? Today, I'm tapping into my roots as a YouTuber, and we're doing something that I've been doing on this channel for a long time, which is reacting to bad TikTok accounts. Now, this style of content was probably the most popular during the PNG tuber slash jellybean wave around February of this year, but I keep on getting DMs from you guys with links to TikTok accounts that are apparently bad and that I have to react to. And I honestly don't even mind making these videos, so if you have a bad TikTok account that I should check out, you know, link it to me on Instagram DMs. But yeah, yeah, today we're looking at this TikTok account called Fuzz99. Venmo and Cash App in the bio. Dog, are you homeless? It's not even a Patreon link or an OnlyFans link. It's just straight up Cash App or Venmo. Literally just send me money and get nothing back. Like, I get that it's just sitting there in her bio. I don't think she's making anybody donate to her or she's not pressuring anybody into doing so, but still. You have over 300,000 TikTok followers. I don't know if you gotta be down bad scraping change from your audience, but moving on. Anyways, the bio says, hey yo, I'm more from M.A. Mole? Mall? I don't know. Very odd name, if I'm being honest. It's up there with other oddballs, such as Rubik's and Schwarzbugel. Mole? Definitely a weird one. 26 and a king, baby! Well, okay. I like the confidence. Alright, so let's start it off by watching one of Mole's TikToks. How do I call myself gay if my pronouns are he, they, and I'm dating a girl? Well... Oh my god, what was that stomp for? Hello? Hey, Mole, can you not do that again, please? That was startling, that was frightening, and frankly, probably dangerous. Oh. Bro, you're about to accidentally shift the tectonic plates. Don't know if you've been paying attention. There's been Hurricane Ida, all these natural disasters. We don't need an earthquake.
I love it when I see TikTokers that instead of talking the way that I'm talking, decide to stretch out all of their words for no reason. This person was asked a question saying like, why do you use this pronouns if you're gay or something like that? And instead of just basically saying, well, I'm glad you asked and then answering the question, she goes, or uh, is it he? I don't even know. He or she goes, I'm glad you asked. What? I just have the feeling that I wouldn't be too pleased by the stench of this individual's breath. Also, why are you yelling? Cut it out. I can't even tune into your stupid pronoun TikTok if all you're gonna do is yell and stretch out your words. Your pronouns make you feel most comfortable. <laughs> Meaning you can identify as a male, but use she, her pronouns if that's what you like. I mean, you can if you want to confuse everybody around you. You have to understand that words have meaning. The word she refers to a female. If you're using that word to refer to a male, that's going to confuse people. People think that it's so brave to use pronouns that don't align with your gender when in reality, nobody cares and you're just annoying. Especially these loser freaks on Twitter that change their bio every week to update their pronouns because they're feeling more comfy in different pronoun sets. Nobody finds that brave or empowering or progressive. Nobody cares and you need an actual hobby. How about you switch the one a week pronoun change on Twitter to a once a week set of 10 push-ups? I promise the latter option will help your life a lot more. Spooky, spooky haircut. Spooky, spooky. Spooky, spooky haircut. Spooky, spooky haircut. Yeah, get a look at those pearly yellows. Gorgeous. You posted this, okay? I'm not the asshole for pointing out what you posted. I mean, you got one centimeter away from the camera, breathed all over my face. I'm probably gonna be sick now, gonna call off work in advance, and I'm getting a nice look at your uh, pearly yellows. This is 2012 humor. How is this around nowadays? Like, this is the derp face type of loud, obnoxious, heckin' random type of humor that was popular in the it's raining tacos phase of the internet. Air cut. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. You startled me. <laughs> I have no idea what this looks like. So, uh, let's check it out, baby. All right. <laughs> hey. Hey. Do I look spooky, baby? Yeah, don't call me that. Not your baby. Okay, first of all, let's just make that clear. Second of all, the cut is uh, atrocious. I'm just being honest, okay? I don't know what kind of angry at the world barber would do that to you. Yeah, I, I can't, you know, consciously say that that looks anything above not good. But the front side isn't even that bad, okay? Like, I used to have that cut. Not for very long because I didn't think it looked that good, but it's a decent cut. I'm just curious as to why you had the tombstone and the bones engraved in the back of it. Like, I know it's for Halloween. Halloween, but still not a great choice. I feel spooky. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi. <laughs> Why did you turn your comments off? Who are you even parodying? Nobody has ever acted like this. Nobody cares that you turned off your comments. Like, w what? What kind of self-centered world do you live in where your Venmo and Cash App are in the bio as if people are just gonna send you money? And you also have this perception in your head that when you turn off comments on one of your TikTok videos that people start screaming at you. When in reality, you turning off your TikTok comments has the same, if not less of an impact on the world as the death of an ant. Oh, um... Well... <laughs> oh my god, and this pose too? Have you ever seen somebody in real life do this pose? People put the two finger emojis together, so it's like, oh, we're touching our fingers because we're nervous and shy. Has to be one of the worst states of human posture I've ever seen. At this point, I'd rather you flip me off. Like, I don't want to see this. And it's that same little intro to all of her videos where she stomps the floor and says, I'm glad you asked for eight seconds. Like, do you have beef with gravity? Do you have beef with the floor? Why are you stomping on it so hard? Do you hate it? Because I'm seriously asking, what did the floor do to you? Like, uh, did you fall on it and you're trying to get revenge? Like, come on now. So first, I would like to say that no, it is not because I got too much hate and couldn't handle it. I promise, I am okay, but I do appreciate all of the people that sent me kind words and lovely DMs because it means more to me than y'all will ever know. 
and I truly love y'all like so much like for real <laughs> there's definitely a gay pedophile with 30 mental disabilities watching you say that you love everybody watching the video and is thinking wow that's really nice i'm getting the love because i have to ask at this point like what is the target audience for this sort of content i'm not saying it's gay pedophiles but i could see them being a possibility but i turned comments off because there's a bigger plan already in motion baby that only i know about so stay tuned baby all right, so that was just unsettling, I'm gonna be honest. Apparently there's a master plan in motion or something like that. I don't really like how that sounds. What could that possibly mean? What kind of master plan could this individual be formulating? Like, what, what are we about to witness? Stop saying there's a crazy, ingenious master plan in the works if you don't plan on, like, I don't know, adopting a monkey. Like, bro, let's just be honest. The master plan is probably that the comments are gonna be back on in 24 hours. Like, that's probably the master plan. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video now you guys sent me this tiktok account over discord to react to called just the tips now this account is basically this i guess feminist complaining about why relationships suck and why men suck and all that sort of stuff just a load of garbage i think just the way she presents her opinions is overall really 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 cringy and i'm just here to react to some of her content today because why not so yeah like and subscribe we're super close to 300k and you guys can help me get there and yeah let's look at this content you know what women really don't give one singular shit about? How much you're bodybuilding, how much you're carving out those sick lines and the little V line. Honestly, nobody's walking around waiting for a guy who shows up looking like the David. Carved from marble. Guys who spend- Okay, all right, I have to stop you right there. No guy, okay, I shouldn't say no guy, but most guys are working on their body, working on their, their physical health, you know, going to the gym, all of that stuff, they're doing it for themselves. You do understand that some people just want to be healthy to be healthy. Or they want to build muscle to just simply get stronger. How self-absorbed do you have to be to see a guy who is in peak physical shape with good muscle and think, Wow, that guy really wants to get some bitches. That guy gets no bitches and he's guilt he's building muscle to, to try to get some bitches. Like, dude, are you, are you kidding me? No, absolutely not. Carved from marble. Guys who spend all day long working out in the gym all oiled up. What woman has ever stopped a man in the street and been like, dude, nice delts? No, girls want a guy who's fit, a guy who takes care of himself. Some people want him a little bit more muscular. Some people like him on the pudgier side. That's your girl. But nobody is looking for a guy who like spends all day long in the gym to work on one particular area of his body. Okay, this is where you need to get it through your thick skull that guys aren't working on particular muscle groups to impress you. Nobody's doing that. Like, I'm sorry. I know you think, wow, women don't like that. Women don't find that attractive. It's like, who gives a shit? It's not about doing it for a woman. It's about doing it for themselves. It's about, it's about being the best man that they can be for themselves. Really that simple. If I could throw tomatoes at this video, you know, like an old Shakespearean play, I would. Of his body. The only people who are noticing those tiny little details that you're working so hard to develop, like a bodybuilder, are other men. You get that, right? So I Okay, and... Like, what? Why do you think that's your mic drop moment? Who gives a shit who notices it? It's- it, nobody can notice it and it wouldn't matter. It's not about the looks. Well, okay, for some people it is. But overall, you do understand there are many, many, many benefits for bodybuilding and muscle building other than people thinking that it looks cool, right? You understand this as a fully grown adult, right? Or, or maybe you simply don't, I don't know. Right, so ask yourself, if you're gonna spend all day long in the gym, literally make it your entire hobby to be the perfect picture of manliness, who are you doing that for? Because women- Are you kidding me? Could you really not figure that out? It's for themselves! Dude, oh my God. The same way that women put on makeup to just make themselves feel better sometimes is the same way that guys build up muscle sometimes. I understand that not every time a woman puts on makeup, they're doing it for male validation, right? So you should be able to understand that about men who spend a lot of time in the gym. Boys, do not listen to this girl. Like, just understand, this is a two on a good day trying to tell you what you should and shouldn't do with your body. Like, I'm sorry, but you're out of shape and you do not get, you don't get to speak on this. You don't. Sorry, not sorry. Next video. How do I date men when I hate men? You gotta see it as you're doing something for yourself rather than for another person. <laughs> Wait a second. So she understands the concept of doing something for yourself, but she doesn't know why men work out. Are you kidding me? Oh, bro, the stupidity is insane. Maybe it's because her total IQ points are simply based on the number of times she's been to the gym. So 
what, like three, five, five IQ points? Also, I just love the way this comment is written. So how do we do it, please? Like, do you have a mother and a father that love each other? Because look to them, understand how they do it. Imagine your mom dating your dad and your mom being like, oh, I hate men. I could never imagine that. These, this is a grown adult woman talking like this. This is just like, this is some teenage girl shit. Unreal. How do I date men when I hate men? You gotta see it as you're doing something for yourself rather than for another person. You can't change the fact that maybe- That is just awful advice on its own. That is terrible advice. When you're dating somebody, you have to care about them as much as you care about yourself. You're not more important than them. You're not less important than them. You guys are equal. And for her to say, well, you, you gotta think about yourself, you know? It's about you. It's like, bitch, you don't know what you're talking about. That maybe you're a heterosexual woman and you're attracted to men. Like, I consider myself a feminist. I'm very upset about the state of the world right now. I'm very angry at men in general. I still have to get off. Like, I still want to have fun and date men and experience love and intimacy. And I don't have the choice of moving over to women because I'm not attracted to women. And that's just kind of the cards that God dealt me or whatever. That doesn't even answer the question. She didn't even answer how to date men when you hate men. She just said... I, I'm a heterosexual, <laughs> okay? Like what? Who hurt you, dude? Who actually hurt you? Like what, what even went on? Did your high school boyfriend leave that much of a permanent mental and emotional scar on you that now you're running a TikTok account where you're, you know, feeding into the emotions of 14 year old girls who got their heart broken over Roblox? Like, are you kidding me? It's pathetic. He's a nine, but he texts you every day. That's a five. Does he have a job? What is he doing? What? what? Hold on, hold on. A guy who texts you every day, right? First of all, wh how long do you think it takes to send a text, right? You realize it takes two seconds to say hi over text. You can do that once every day without losing any part of your day. You can say hi in two seconds and still have a job, dummy. Text you every day, that's a five. Does he have a job? What is he doing all day? Why is he texting you every single day? What is he doing all day? A text takes... Two seconds, what are you talking about? That's like saying he's a 10, but he showers every day. Whoa, you're showering every day? What do you have a job? You're showering? Do you have a job? Like what? He's a 10, but he knows his big three zodiac signs. That's a three. You wanna know your big three and be a slut? You're a big three. Yeah, that's the only thing she's right about. If you're a man who knows your compatibility with female zodiac signs, just, yeah, we're, we're not hearing you out. He's an eight, but he's a little out of shape and he doesn't go to the gym. That's a 10, honey, and I'll tell you why. Girls don't care so much about muscle. Girl what is it with her and saying girls don't care about muscle? That's not true. Maybe you don't, but you are one of four billion girls, okay? Or women. And I promise, that is not true. Girls care that the guy is like not so out of shape that he's going to have a short life expectancy. Only guys care about that type of small progress. So who are you working out for? That's not true. Have you ever seen a girl who goes to the gym? Like, bro, a guy and a girl who are gym buddies, they will notice each other's progress. You clearly have not been to the gym. And I'm not even just saying that to make like a fat joke. I'm literally saying that because girls do notice that. If they go to the gym, they will notice if a guy's putting in the work on a specific muscle group. If you can like lift me up, Cool, great, that's all I need. I don't need you to like look carved out of stone. She's, that's like the second time she's pulled up like a Greek warlord as like an example of what not to look like. Like that is exactly what I want to look like. Are you kidding me? Why, why would I not strive to look like this? Bro's got a goddamn lion at his like command. I want that, dude. Next one. Why should the man pay on the first date? Great question. I'm going to break it down for you in simple English, boys. Women are always taking a risk to some degree when we go out alone with you. Statistically, it's a lot less safe for me to be alone with a guy that I've never met than for me to go to dinner with a woman that I've never met. Every Okay, so here's what I will say. I do believe that if you are on a date with a girl and you don't really discuss about payment, it's kind of assumed that the man is going to pay. And I think that's fair. I mean, men traditionally make more money than women. And I think men hold the role to provide for their women. That's just my opinion. So I would pay on the first date. I don't really care. Not a big deal. She seems to agree with me on that take that men should pay on the first date. However, her reasoning for it is completely retarded. She's talking about how when a woman goes on a date with a man, she's taking a risk. And since the men were the one they took the risk on, the men needs to reward her for taking that risk by paying. For me to go to dinner with a woman that I've never met. Every guy that I'm with is a small, small, small risk. I'm risking my safety. I'm more likely to get hurt 
hurt when I'm with you. That is just a fact. That is a plain fact. Women have to always assume the worst in men. And when I go out on a date with you, I'm taking a small risk. So getting in the Uber to come to you is also a small risk. Then factor in- Or you could drive yourself there. You're telling me that I have to pay for your meal because you paid for an Uber? Just drive yourself, dummy. How much more time and effort and money it takes for me to look presentable and put together compared to how you look presentable. Okay, so you're doing the bare minimum and I should pay for that? Listen, God, we, we hold the same conclusion that men should pay. But like, she's doing this stupid like feminist take as to why men should pay. And it's so cringy. One put together. You put on a clean pair of socks. If we're lucky, maybe brush your teeth, comb your hair in a button down shirt. And everyone will say, oh. For me, I have to meet the beauty standards that men have institutionally set for me so that they view me as someone to be taken seriously. They will always treat me better and like a full human being if I look somewhat desirable to them. In order for a woman to look desirable, I have to throw on a little makeup, brush out my hair, pick out a cute outfit. I have to look flattering in the way that a man would interpret it as flattering. I love how she put the devil emoji over man. It's like, dude, we get it. You don't like men, you think everything is unfair, you think you're oppressed. Like, even though you have your own podcast studio and I'm recording in my shitty little bedroom, like, yeah, dude. You're just, you're oppressed. Or else he's gonna go home and tell all his friends that I showed up looking sloppy and he won't want a second date and he'll probably treat me like shit too. They always treat you better when you look the way that they want you to look. Thirdly, women don't have rights in this country. I don't know if you were here. What, okay, like, okay. Now she's just, just saying nothing. God, dude. Like, where do I even go at this from? Do I go at this from the she's stupid angle? Do I go at this from the what are you talking about angle? I don't even know. Like, wh like where's your mind at? Ago, but the Supreme Court just took them all away. We're not seen as full human so, beings. So let me understand. Because Supreme Court made a ruling, I have to pay for your dinner. Okay by the government. In conclusion, it takes so much more time, money, effort, and bravery to be a woman in this society. The least he can do is pick up the tab on the date that he invited you to. Oh. Okay, okay. Well, if it's presumed that he invited you to the date, yeah, he should pay. But if the woman invites me to a date, I'm still gonna pay. More money than you. Think about it. There is still a gender- That's true. That's true. Oh my god, it's not because the wage gap- Because men work harder. Generally. Generally. And and men take higher paying jobs. Generally. Still live in America. Why should the man- Listen, I'm not here to debunk the wage gap, but like when someone says some cringe ass stuff like that, I, I gotta- I gotta hit them with the facts, okay? <laughs> Oh, nah, this vid goes so soft, my dude. Like, I know that when you posted that, you thought that was gonna be straight gangster, like you'd be able to attract any woman in your city. But I have shocking data from what we call common sense that shows that women actually prefer real-life men over Roblox characters. Anyways, you guys seem to like the last video I did covering these Roblox TikTok cringy kids, and yeah, I mean, honestly, there's really not much to say other than we're doing that again today. So leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> Yo, I don't know what it is, but something about this TikTok in particular really just gets under my skin. I just get the vibe from this guy that he uses the devil emoji after every single text he sends. Also, I got the feeling that this guy posted this thirst trap on Roblox TikTok because in real life, he's kind of got the shrimp posture. Nah, but seriously, if you are posting these Roblox TikTok thirst traps, you are a menace to your public school. When she's a mix of pleading emoji, but she also knows how to fight. Dude, you are down tremendous, honestly. Like, there's just no excuse for you at this point. Like, if you were getting picked on at school for posting this TikTok, like, a bunch of guys were gathered around you, you know, looking at your TikToks, being like, bro, this is so cringe. And if I wanted to defend you, I couldn't say, oh, guys, he didn't mean it because you did mean it, okay? You want a girl who is a mix of pleading emoji and who can fight, and you openly requested a girl for that to hit you up on TikTok because, well, like I said, you are down tremendous. Just stop looking for girlfriends on Roblox TikTok, dude. <laughs> Okay, this is the third thirst trap we've seen so far. Who is posing these? I mean, what is the market for this? Who finds these attractive? Like, this guy in particular, he looks like a Vietnam vet, bro. He's missing a leg. Like, listen, hey, no disrespect to the Vietnam vets, of course, but wh what am I looking at right now? Even if you're a girl and you're down calamitous, what would actually bring you to be simping for a guy who looks like Burn Trap from Five Nights at Freddy's? <laughs> Oh wow, look at that. He brought you a rose. So charming. Maybe next he can bring you a photo of himself IRL. You might be surprised. What's this? 
Yeah, facts. What's this? Seriously, what is this? What am I watching, dude? What is this? This is like glow up thirst trap TikToks. Like I swear to God, these Roblox freaks have more of an obsession with making their avatar look as sexy as possible than applying the proper amount of deodorant before getting on the bus to go to school. Bro's wearing Nike Air Force Ones in Roblox, man. Make it stop. He said, stop being sad. You're hot as frick. I hope you know that if you ever actually showed this video to anybody who's remotely sad, like you just made their condition 10 times worse. You know, show this video to a girl who's crying her eyes out and she'll probably end up taking her own life. People take one look at me and go, ah, help, run, big, stupid, ugly ogre. Huh, <laughs> facts. They judge me I love how this guy complains, oh, they judge me before they get to know me, as if it's like, why would I ever take the time to get to know you? Do you see what you're posting? Like, if I go to Target to get some snacks, and I see a furry couple in actual fursuits on the other side of the aisle, and this furry couple is actually sniffing each other's butts, yeah, I'm gonna be a little judgmental, okay? I hate to break it to you, I might make some judgments about this couple. The first of these judgments, of course, being that they had some sort of a traumatic childhood. Like, at the age of six, they were dropped off at Barnes & Noble's to pick up a copy of Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and their father never came to pick them up. Bro's wearing fake champion sweatpants in Roblox. Who are you trying to impress? I just really do not understand. Are you older than 10? Yes, red heart, almost gold heart, no blue heart? Again, like, why Why would you need to know this information? Are you searching for your next grooming victims or something? I don't know why you would be searching for this. Someone be mine, please. Nine plus? I'm 19? What? Bro, you're old enough to download Tinder. Why Why are you looking for kids on Roblox, dude? Like, I think you're actually a P3 file. No kizzy, bro. Is this EDP's alt account? Seriously? The only thing valid about this post is the fat phobia. Okay, that's literally it. <laughs> Bro really thinks he's Chief Keef, bro. Why are you sagging in Roblox? I will literally buy you a belt for 15 Robux if it means you can stop posting this shit. Yo, let me catch my son hitting the Roblox bussy bussy challenge. No. It's over. Like, I just get a glimpse of this shit, instantly sending him to boot camp. Like, there's just no shot that this is gonna fly in the Achito household. Actually, no, no, no. If I saw my son, or even my son's friend, hitting the Roblox bussy busset dance, I'm swan diving into a goddamn volcano. But also, I don't understand. This guy just got embarrassed in front of his dad, and then he still chose to post this. Like, why? Like, does he think it's funny? Like, oh, guys, I just got caught by my dad. I'm so quirky. It's like, dude, we're not laughing with you. We are literally laughing at you. Face in your face. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is the one Roblox TikTok I can actually get behind. Dance if you like bacon. Yeah, bacon's pretty good, actually. I mean, I think it's pretty bad for you. I think they put, like, cancer-causing chemicals in most bacon, I'm pretty sure. But hey, bacon's fire. Okay, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it! Oh my god, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna... I'm yeah. gonna... I'm gonna get it! Wait. Oh my god. Wait, I'm gonna get it. I got it! Oh my god, I got it! Oh my god, I got it! I got it! I'm loose! I got it. Oh, uh, uh, I got it. I got it. OMG. OMG. Stop. I got it. Can I see? I got it. I got it. I'm gonna change my hair. I'm gonna like act up. I'm gonna make my avatar so cool, guys. Oh! Happy birthday to me! Yo, she's acting like she just unboxed a CSGO knife, bro. That is worth, like, what, three cents? Like, that's literally worth a slice of gum. Like, the value of what you just paid for is, like, what, tw 20 boogers, maybe? Hold on. Well, wait till you see my BF. Oh, 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 scary! Oh, 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 shiver my timbers! Shut up!
but a true tragedy. You got finessed by some people on Roblox, and you're coping with a TikTok. 2022, ladies and gentlemen. Also, why would you post about you getting scammed? Like, you do realize the people that are scamming you, or the people that have scammed you, are probably watching your TikTok just dying of laughter as to how hard they finessed you, right? Man, this should just be your wake-up call, bro. Join a club at school. Meet some people at school. Meet some people anywhere besides Roblox, bro. Like, you gotta make some friends. Please don't break my heart. You and your first at have to go on a Roblox date? Yeah, how about no? Yeah, dude, go up to a girl on the side of the street and show her what you have on in Roblox. I guarantee you that's gonna help you, man. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She definitely won't think you're weird or anything. No, 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 of course not. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, right off the bat, I have to ask you guys for some help, okay? I am in a bit of a content drought right now. It's been hard for me to find clips or videos that I really want to react to. So if you see something, say something. Meaning that if you see something that you want me to react to, say something. Shoot me a DM with the link to the clip, the video, the TikTok, whatever. And the rule is, to sweeten the deal for you guys, if you send me something and I react to it, I'll follow you back. I'll follow you back on Twitter, Instagram, or if it's over Discord, I'll add you as a friend. And yeah, man, that's just what's going on. Anyways, on the note of being out of content, today I just literally searched up TikTok cringe compilation on YouTube, and I'm downloading the first video that I find and just watching it today. What the hell? Brother, hold on, man. Hold on, hold yeah, on, man. Hold on. Please, 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 please. Who is that coming off the goddamn pick and roll? Dude, okay, you can take them off. You know that, right? Like, I know that you think that you're spreading the message. I know you think you're doing something astronomical for your community by wearing those shoes. But first of all, I know you're not comfortable. Like, I just know you're not comfortable. Why are you wearing them? Like, if your goal is to let everybody who makes eye contact with you know that you're part of the LGBTQ community, which is a weird goal to begin with, wouldn't it just be more practical to put on, like, a pride graphic tee or something like that? You are going to trip and fall in these, and I'm not going to feel sorry for you because you chose to wear these bro this is like borderline wearing stilts to school my life my rules my style my attitude you love me or hate me i don't care but don't play with me oh my god yeah, Indian TikTok still isn't making much sense to me. They're still just saying a bunch of stuff with uh, bad green screens in the background and a lot of explosions and stuff. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I believe that one was supposed to be motivational slash inspiring, so I'm inspired, dude. Girl, shut the fuck up. You bought you eight. <laughs> Dude, okay, can someone explain to me what's happening in that clip? Like, I get that random equals funny to the third power is basically the equation for Gen Z humor, but I think I might need an interpreter for this one because I don't know what's happening at all. Like, what is this? Is this gonna replace stand-up comedy in, like, 20 years? Like, it's gonna be people on the stage just, like, spazzing out? Instead of, like, you know, jokes with setups and punchlines, it's just gonna be, like, random audio playing while the person on stage has, like, a live aneurysm and everybody starts, like, breaking it down, busting it down, you know? Boogie bomb chat. Challenge. Ah, old man Rick can't party with the whole planet. I could do whatever you do and more, baby. It's so hard being a Rick and Morty fan. It really is. Like, I like the show. I really do. I think it's well written. But, like, dude, I can't be in a community where there's emo thirst trappers using the audio from that show to try to get clout on TikTok. Like, it's not gonna work. Burns! I'm with the FBI! The female booty inspectors! Now turn around and let me see that ass! Uh, no. No, you're not gonna be able to do that because I'm not gonna let you, and you- you should be ashamed that you posted this. Look, they're gonna comment like, Oh my god, a Cheeto, it's satire, it's satire. Bro, I don't care that it's satire, it's still cringy. I'll see, like, furries with their fursuits out in public, like, you know, going around barking at people, and then the comments will be like, Oh no, it's satire, guys, it's fine. No, it's not, no, it's not, he really did that in real life. Yeah, I don't care what anybody says, this person needs to be arrested for the rest of their life. Yeah, that's by far the worst clip I've seen in this entire year. That's a human, by the way, just in case you guys are confused. That's a, a real-life human being dressed up in an animal costume,
prancing around the sidewalk like a dog. And people still are saying things like, oh dude, furries, we don't do anything bad, we're harmless, we just want to do our own thing online and, you know, have fun with our community. I don't think that's what's going on here, sweetie. Like, genuinely, how am I supposed to live, laugh, love when I see clips like this? How am I supposed to do it, dude? You know, I was supposed to see a movie with my friend today. I think I'm gonna have to cancel those plans because my day has just been ruined by this. Some furry's gonna comment down like, oh, Achita, we're not all bad, I promise. I'm one of the good furries. Like, bro, stop it. I need some space, okay? Don't, like, today is a furry-free day. What you doing out here with all these thighs? Double hammed up on a Monday afternoon. Hello legs. The sun is still shining. Okay, I hate to be that guy, but you can't really brag about, you know, your thighs being large when the rest of you is as well. There's a thing called proportion and, you know, you kind of got to hit the golden ratio, we'll say. I didn't know you were sturdy like that. Okay, okay, okay. You know, it's crazy too because this was in the cringe compilation, but at the end of the day, this is just dancing and it's not even bad. I I'm gonna be honest. Like, TikTok was supposed to be a dancing app and, you know, it's kind of gotten so far from that that every now and then when I see somebody just hitting a dance move and it's not even half bad, I, you know, give them a like. I give them a round of applause. Well, I don't use TikTok, so I don't actually give them a like, but, you know, I'll give you a uh, verbal like. Yeah, so remember how like 30 seconds ago I said it was refreshing to see dancing on the app? I take it back. I don't want to see that kind of stuff. You know, doing a dance in the hallway of your school by the lockers and not even a real dance either. Kind of doing a half dance where you're not really sure what you're doing. It's rough to watch. You know, there were people like this a couple of years ago when TikTok was first booming and it actually still was a dance app that would literally do the renegade TikTok dance by the water fountain while I was trying to get a sip. It's like the double whammy. Not only are you cringe, but you're, you're limiting me from getting a sip. Don't do it! Look, no, you did it to yourself. I mean, you obviously wanted to do that. Now you're stuck like that. Look, look at this. Super stay. Matte ink. Yep. You know how hard this is to get off my lips? Look at her hands. Look at her face. Look how deep it is. Look, it's in her hair. <laughs> Aw oh, man, yeah, that's rough, but it is the sort of thing that she's gonna look back on in like five years and be like, yeah, that was stupid of me, and it's funny, and we're all laughing. But I will say, did you have to post this on TikTok to embarrass your daughter to potentially millions? I'm gonna say no. I, I think that, you know, the embarrassment is enough for herself just to see you in shock. I don't think she needs to have the attention of like millions of people commenting about, oh wow, she did this? That's so silly. You know, I mean, obviously she's not gonna see the comments. I, I assume, I mean, I would hope so, but still, like, come on. Say evening. Officers responding to a shooting call at a home on East Main Street found the victim inside with a gunshot wound. They were taken to the hospital and pronounced dead. But all right, so grandma's role playing being shot. You know, she's kind of just laying there with the like the little bloody filter. And I have to ask, like, what? Like, you're role playing being a shooting victim? Like, why? Like, a lot of people role play like anime, right? They'll be like Goku, a, a super strong guy who shoots lasers out of his hands. And, you know, that's cool. But they don't role play like a person who was recently shot. Like, listen, I think cosplay is kind of cringe, but at least I get it. Like, oh, you want to dress up as somebody who's like strong, handsome, and has powers. Okay, cool. But this is like reverse cosplay cosplay you're dressing up as somebody who's like literally dying and bleeding out as we speak and i have to say this one i don't really get so oh, blockies are hot now where are my baby girls what on God's green earth made you think that this would be an okay thing to post on the internet? Also, to answer your question, which I know you're dying to have answered, no, Roblox characters are not hot. I don't think they've ever been hot. And if you find some sort of romantic attraction to a Roblox character, I genuinely think the government should prohibit you from reproducing. Anyways, what's cracking, boys? Today we're gonna be looking at some Roblox cringy TikToks. You know, I feel like the theme for this week on the channel has been cringe, so honestly, why not keep up that theme? We're gonna look at some cringy Roblox TikToks like I said, so leave a like on this video to help me in the YouTube algorithm, and let's get right into it. Wanna play on the PS5? No! Hey, wanna play on the swings? Toilet paper! Okay, am I like going insane or did that literally mean nothing whatsoever? I mean, the first part of the TikTok made sense. Some guy asked her, hey, you want to play on the PS5? No. Oh, roasted apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur, whatever, right? Second part, do you want to go on the swings? She says, 
toilet paper? Maybe I'm missing the point of the TikTok, and the point of the TikTok was just to be, like, as retarded as possible. Hey, man, toilet paper, that's hilarious because it's random and quirky. I'm so tired of being single. Like, ah, who trying to be my sneaky Oh my god, has it really gotten this bad, dude? Ironic or not, the very idea that somebody would look for hookups on Roblox is genuinely making me, like, doomer mode. Like, just seeing this sort of content genuinely makes me sad. Like, I now want to go and tune into some Lil Peep on Spotify. Nobody's trying to be your sneaky link, bro. Nobody. Nobody at all. You need to go do your homework, I swear. Listen, I know the whole fatherless child thing is literally beating a dead horse at this point, but genuinely, I don't understand how somebody with a strong paternal figure finds themselves seeking Roblox hookups on TikTok, like genuinely. But if somebody can prove me wrong and find, I don't know, a person looking for a Roblox hookups on TikTok who's got like a pretty, you know, nice chipper dad, you know, a dad who plays catch with them, trades on the stock market, likes to grill steaks, that sort of thing, you know? If you can find somebody who posts this sort of content with that sort of dad, I'll end my life, literally, because you can't do it. Yeah, I'm sure, big guy. I'm sure you, the frequent Roblox TikTok cringe poster, are going to find the way to get my girlfriend to install Roblox and then appear in one of your TikToks. Also, even if in some magical reality you managed to get my girlfriend to film a Roblox TikTok with you, that wouldn't make you any less cringe. That wouldn't make me stop hating on you, bro. Like, what do you think? You're gonna take my girlfriend, put her in a Roblox TikTok, and then your content instantly becomes better? No? What? <laughs> Holy shit, is this real? Roblox strippers dancing for Robux? Oh my god. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, if you're the type of guy who would pay for this sort of stuff, you deserve to have your money wasted, you deserve to lose your cash this way. Because for all you know, the person controlling the hot Roblox girl, you know, making her dance and stuff, that could just be some greasy tub of lard named Oswald. Would you still be throwing Robux at these Roblox strippers if you knew that it was a greasy man named Oswald controlling them? I really don't even know how to describe what I just watched at this point, like, a family of five in Roblox just flipped and turned into birds. I mean, that's honestly just disrespectful to your family, bro. I, I cannot be living real life right now, bro. Like, it's a bad dream. Please wake me up. We have Roblox gold diggers flexing about it on TikTok, dude. What is happening, dude? Society is over. We're, we're doomed, actually. That's lovely. Really empowering stuff, you know. I just watched that, and I think I'm gonna give $10 million to charity, specifically Team Trees. I think what you just did, you know, that content that you just posted, inspiring others to, I don't know, I, I guess gold dig on Roblox? That honestly changed my life. I feel like a much better and developed person after watching that. Snuggles cutely. Give me Robux. A oh, woo. Notice me, senpai. Oh my god, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, please stop! What is this, dude? Snuggles cutely? No. There's nothing cute about this. This is repulsive, repugnant, and honestly, kinda makes me want to pack a knapsack full of my essentials and just go live in the middle of nowhere, honestly. Like in some sort of remote cottage in the middle of a forest where none of this stuff can get to me. No more snuggles cutely, dude. I am out of here. I'm gay. <laughs> I'm gay, sis. What a plot twist. I'm gay. Okay, so now we have sexuality reveals in Roblox. I mean, I don't even know what to tell you at this point. Like, I know I've been saying that for the entire video, but genuinely, like, what the hell do I even say to this? Like, don't do that. Like, I'm not gonna cause anyone to stop doing this. If you're already so down bad that you do this in the first place, some YouTuber with 170k subs isn't gonna stop you. And honestly, I don't really have any interest in stopping you. Like, obviously, I want this content to go away, but I, I don't want to take the time out of my day to try to tell you some person who is clearly, I don't know, not mentally stable why posting sex Sexuality reveals on Roblox isn't the best idea. This achieves nothing, dude. I'm sorry, but like, you need to get on Tinder, you need to get on Bumble. Honestly, anything is a step up from where you're at right now because you are at rock bottom, my friend. You could literally be walking by your Starbucks and find the local homeless guy sitting there asking for change. You know, Billy with 10 missing teeth. I think offering Billy a rose and asking him to go on a date would literally be a step up from asking for a girlfriend on TikTok. Oh yeah, and by the way, Billy's addicted to meth. Oh 
don't know who your nine-year-old ass think you talk to, bitch, but I got stitch. Why are you trying to talk all that shit? Now sit your happy ass down. Sounds like there's some Roblox beef going on. I'd love to see somebody get into a physical fight with somebody else because of Roblox. Well, I wouldn't love it. I just think it'd be, like, really entertaining, you know? It's like the cops show up, they ask, hey, what's going on? Why are you fighting this person? What happened? Oh, yeah. They left a mean comment on my Roblox TikTok video, and I honestly had to settle it the real way. <laughs> Bro, I promise you that seemed way funnier in your head, okay? Like, I, I don't think that many people are laughing at you typing daddy in Roblox chat. Matter of fact, I think it's actually un poco cringe. So what I've gathered from this is this Roblox girl and her friend are gonna kill the Roblox boyfriend or something. And to be honest, that's a W for the boyfriend. Like, I would want that too if my girlfriend was role-playing on Roblox with her friend. I mean, hey, put me out of my misery at that point. Yeah, we're turning this crap off. I can't do this anymore. This might actually be the hardest video I have ever had to record just out of pure cringe. I wanted to do this entire 20 minute video by myself from start to finish, but I think if that's what I did, I would have had to find myself a therapist afterward. So we have a special guest in the later part of the video, but you're gonna have to keep watching to see who that is. Anyways, leave a like on the video because I'm enduring cringe that no man should ever have to endure. And let's get started. It's corn. You can slob on the knobs, it has the juice, it has the juice. <laughs> Terrifying. Uh, horrifying, I would say. Dude, what are you doing, man? Like what? What are you doing? Seriously, what are you doing? Alone in your room doing crisscross applesauce singing about slobbing on the knob? Like, bro, you let the demons win, is what I'm getting out of this, right? Like, you know, you woke up and the demons were telling you to record a TikTok where you just, you know, freak everybody out. And you could have fought them back, you could have said, no, not today, we're not doing that, but you let the demons win. You can slob on the knob. You should be fined for emotional damage that you've caused with that video. Got me and everybody watching cringing up a storm, and it's not even 10 a.m. yet, bro. The tummy make my flu go ah uh ah uh ah uh ah uh ah uh ah uh ah uh. The tummy make my flu go ah uh ah. I refuse to believe that we are fully evolved as a human species because this to me right here is a scientific anomaly, right? Like, because we're, we're supposed to be homo sapiens, we're the advanced man, but I'm starting to have some doubts. The tummy make my flu go yeah, it's like, how do you exactly explain that? And I'm not even talking about evolution, right? Like, just that TikTok. Like, what did we just watch? That's not rhetorical. I seriously need some answers. Because if, if I was just asked that question by a friend, homie goes, hey, bro, what are you watching? And I have this on my screen. What am I supposed to say in that situation? Like, I wasn't taught in school how to prepare for a situation where I'm watching this and I have to explain it to somebody. Also, who gave the okay on these eyelashes? I see a lot of people that wear these eyelash extensions and they just don't look good. And I'm not even trying to make mean but adding three extra inches to your eyelashes isn't attractive this is what happens when you hack your wife's uh tiktok account you gain 300 pounds what do you mean this is what happens when you hack your wife's tiktok account what happened 15 year old girl in the background does not feel safe at all you haven't been made aware of the invention of the toothbrush and guy over here doesn't even know where he is right now what happens when you hack your wife's uh tiktok account Hey, you're all that. I'm in the background. This guy's old enough to be president, and he's on TikTok doing face humor, sticking out his tongue and shit. Bro even threw in a little raspberry, you know? He was like, 
Like, come on, bro. Who even is this guy? What is his relationship to the two people in the back of the car? There's no way that's their father. Like, no shot. Bro, if that's my dad, I'm grabbing one of these and hitting the road. Bro, Five Nights at Freddy's fans are just severely troubled individuals. It's weird, too, because the game is decent. Like, I used to play that game a lot. But how did the game end up cultivating such an oddball fan base, you know? It's the same thing for me, like, anime. Like, I've only watched a couple animes, but the fan base of anime is, like, atrocious. The best way to put it is if you're at school and you're just getting a bad scent in the air, and that scent happens to be coming from a person, it's likely that that person watches anime, okay? Playing FNAF, I don't know what it is, but it makes people do weird things, you know? Like, like what are we, what are we watching? It's from watching videos like that that I slowly begin to understand the Kurt Cobain mindset. That is the worst TikTok I've watched all month. We can't give everybody internet. Like, we just can't do it. it it's not a thing that we can do w without results like this. The thing with videos like this is I don't understand how they come to exist. Like, the person who made this video, is it because they were bullied too much or too little? Like, if they were bullied too much, maybe they're kind of lashing out after the years of abuse with videos like this to kind of, like, maybe get back at their bullies. But if they weren't bullied enough, maybe they were just this cringy from the start and nobody ever kind of put them in check. So with that being said, I will support whichever side basically makes this stop happening. This is a fully matured human male adult and, and this is what he's doing like i roast videos like this and then i get comments from people being like well why, why are you roasting this guy man let people enjoy things you know let people enjoy things let, let people have fun doing what they want to do you know he's not hurting anybody and to that i just have to say no if this guy's definition of fun is basically disrespecting his entire bloodline by putting a maid costume on and dancing in tiktok and it's also going to cause me to cringe when i watch it i'm going to have to say no and hit him with the roasts unfortunately I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. What do you want from me? Like, seriously, what do I have to do to stop this? Like, what is, what is your demand list? Do I have to vote a certain political candidate into office? I can do that. Honestly, I'll do that. Do you want, like, a donation or something? I'll, I'll donate 10 bucks if you delete your account. I don't need to hear grown men on TikTok saying that they're hungry in a seductive voice. This would be great anti-vaxxer propaganda. Like, download this video and then caption it like, this is the effects of the vaccine. This is Canada. No, baby. It is Singapore. Welcome to Singapore. <laughs> I think for something to be cringe, you kind of have to understand what you're watching. And I don't have a clue what I just watched. I don't know what that TikTok was. Just some guy slow-mo running at the end of it. Yeah, we need to make face humor illegal. Like, I don't want to see it anymore. And I'm not just saying, like, oh, I don't want to see it, but that's okay if you do it. No, it needs to be banned, like, nationwide. For some reason, early 2010s, people thought this was hilarious, so we would get things like, I baked you a pie, oh boy, what flavor, pie, pie, pie. And it's just a bunch of grown adults stretching their face muscles to try to be funny, and it, it's never been funny, man. <laughs> Like, if this is your mom, you have to consider self-admitting yourself to an orphanage, you know? Like, you can't really live with that. Mom's out here doing face humor on TikTok? Like, no. Like, the moment that mom posts this TikTok, you have to click the submit button on the orphanage application. So to pick up women in Valorant, all you gotta do is have a nice mic and a deep voice. Good girl, Viper. I... <laughs> Don't forget to like and follow. Bro, you're not him, okay? Stop it. Stop doing this. Stop trying to be Markiplier. I know you're trying to imitate his voice a one-to-one. -one. It's not working, and you're embarrassing yourself. I mean, pickup artistry is already a cringe thing in on itself, but how, like, level 1,000 down bad final boss do you have to be to consider even, like, flirting with girls over Valorant VC? Like, I get if you were doing it ironically, but you clearly weren't. Calling her good girl because she clutched the round like dog. Cut it out. Knock it off. You're a grown f***ing man. Like, go watch football with the homies or something like dude you can't spend this time you know flirting with girls over valorant probably like teenage girls too
I hated every second of that. Like, that is just five unfunny memes put into one song. Yeah, the band kid's gonna go crazy over that one, though. The band kids are gonna absolutely love that one. The saddest part is Running Up That Hill, which is the original song and, like, the beat to this song. It's actually, like, a really good song, or at least it was for, like, a little bit. And then every single person on TikTok used it as the background song, and it got associated with just incredibly unfunny content, so I, I just can't listen to the song anymore. I actually had to unlike it on Spotify. I'd be in a room with somebody who's scrolling TikTok, and I would just hear that song play, like, five times in the span of 30 seconds. It's a real shame. I heard you like singers. What would you do if I saw you at the red light and I said, baby girl? What would you do if I licked on my lips and I said, could you do it for me, baby? What would you do? Slowly, 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 slowly. <laughs> Uh... Okay. It's rare that I feel this uncomfortable watching a TikTok. Singing about what would you do if I saw you at the red light? I wouldn't even do anything. I would just wait in my car for the light to turn green. That's what you do at a stoplight. And that awkward pause after he stopped singing. Oh my god. Like, please, just, you, you can you can end the video after you're done singing. You don't have to leave the camera running to just stare at me. It's like I'm a steak and he's a wolf about to, like, eat me apart. So uncomfortable, man. Like, please don't do that again. I'll we'll stop loving you when an apple falls from a mango tree on the 30th of February. For more chat up lines, follow me. Okay, first of all, that's not a pickup line. That's something that you would say to somebody that you're like deeply in love with. Second of all, why do you look like that? Like, why is your makeup like that? You look like you were made in a comic book. You know what I'm saying? Like, you look like a comic book villain. I'm sure you're a good person. Uh, well, actually, I shouldn't even say that. I'm not even sure of anything. I don't know you. I'm just going to assume that you're a good person. So, yeah, I mean, you know, keep doing your pickup lines or whatever. Just some constructive criticism. I would say maybe switch up the makeup a little bit. Try not to laugh. <laughs> that was so painfully unfunny that it went full circle and actually became funny again. I watched that for the first time when I wasn't recording and I actually was just like straight face and then for, for some reason I just started bursting out laughing. I don't know why. I think it's the fact that he, he was just trying so hard. I think the fact that this guy finds making like sounds to be the peak of comedy is the part that I find funny. I wish this guy luck on his comedy career. I think he's going to be selling out arenas real soon. One thing very clear. One thing very clear. I don't avoid conflict because I'm scared of you. I avoid conflict because I'm scared of myself. My temper can go from zero to death row really quick. This guy, without a doubt, hits on high school girls. And when he does it, he blames it on his inner demons, you know? Like, he's like, the voice has told me to do it. Where it's like, nah, nah, bro, you, you just did that, you know? The more and more cringe TikTok that I watch, the more and more the idea of spinning the block makes sense to me. Like, something about the fact that a man on the internet puts on a blue avatar face filter and talks about, like, what? Becoming an animal that he's afraid of when he gets into conflict. It's like, my man, you really just need to get off. Like, you're about to be placed in, in a Adult timeout, you know? Five minutes in the corner, no phone, no TikTok. You gotta just control yourself and, you know, kind of collect yourself for a bit. Hey, babe, where the fuck you at? Hold on, babe, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, so why did you post this? Genuine question, why? What's the point of posting this? You said, hey babe, I'm coming, and then there was no babe, and then you just left your room, and your room being your mom's attic, which is kind of sad because you look like you're 23. Hey, maybe someday your anime girlfriend will become real. I believe in you, man. Not really, but hopefully you get her. Or him. You know, maybe you're gay. Maybe you want an anime boyfriend. Um, you know, good luck on that. I re-downloaded Tinder. Oi, mate! I'm back on the old tins! Amy Schumer seriously has some competition because, guys, I don't know about you, but I am cracking up, maybe even chuckling. I mean, dude, this is some funny stuff. It's hard to actually think about the fact that somebody out there laughed at this, unironically. Like, there was somebody scrolling on TikTok, stopped at this video, watched it, and chuckled or laughed to some extent. That's scary. That's a scary thought. That could even be somebody you know. Like, what if your good friend, you know, was the type of person to laugh at this unironically? What do you do with that friendship, you know? Do you just say, like, yeah, we can't do this anymore? Like, 
like, I can't be your friend after that. Like, what exactly? Like, I, I don't know. What would I do there? I, I don't know. I wouldn't end the friendship right on the spot, but I would have to order, like, a large pizza and, you know, have a heart-to-heart -heart with him later that night. You know, try to get in his headspace. Bro, you're out in public. You're not at Comic Con anymore, okay? You don't ha you don't get to act like this in society and not get bad looks. Like you understand, you're probably near some babies that are being you know rolled around in a stroller, absolutely terrified. They just see a grown man with a blue wig yelling at nothing. Everybody thinks you're on drugs, you know? Like this is just not okay. Also, that clip ran for so much longer than it should have. Like, bro, you have to stop doing the ah maybe after like three seconds. But you you went on for like ten seconds, man. It's over. I. Just I just don't know how anybody could watch through that entire thing on their For You page. Like, you, you just gotta scroll at some point. Say Red Bull. Red Bull. No, say Red Bull. Red Bull. Okay, say Red. Red. Now say Bull. Bull. Great, now say Red Bull. Red Bull. Is this supposed to be relatable? How many people do not know how to say Red Bull? Like, I I've never heard anybody who doesn't know how to say Red Bull. He's like role-playing a scenario that actually has never taken place ever. Maybe he was just trying to be funny, but like, I if that's what he was trying to do, I gotta put him at the Amy Schumer tier with the other girl, and it's just not looking too good for him. Say Red Bull. The punchline is that he doesn't say Red Bull. Holy shit, dude. I'm crying and laughing and throwing up everywhere. So we've reached a point in the video where I've actually developed a headache from recording this for so long, so my boy Optimus is gonna hop in and just step in for a bit and do the video for me because 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 when they ask why there's an xxl dog cage in your room yeah i'm gonna need you to go ahead and stop that right now i mean even with the collar the dog tag and everything like all of this the puppy print shirt go ahead and quit please go ahead and log out for me real quick like what do you honestly do if you walk up in somebody's house and you see this massive dog cage right next to the bed they're wearing a collar they got their dog tag on I, does that say dog on it like come on man everything about this needs to stop you have a family you know what i mean like what do your parents say when they come over and they see all this like do you think they just act normal about that they they don't have a conversation in the car like hey what happened to our kid by the way damn damn no mommy yo sick got a nigga Dude's feet look like a Lord of the Rings character. Dude, what is wrong with your big toe, man? This is why I don't open my phone in public, dude. I I'll be damned if I'm sitting at Subway waiting on my sub or whatever, and then, you know, the stranger next to me sees this. Dude's feet look like an old worn-out stretch of highway. Yeah, this also needs to quit right now, bro. Stop tipping your fedora. Stop right now. Stop everything you're doing. I, I don't even know. What happened with the fedora? Like, this used to be like a gentleman's hat. And then now all of a sudden, cringe Redditors and gamers have just taken over the hat. Like, we literally colonized this hat from the gentleman or something, man. It needs to stop, guys. Like, the fedora at this point, it it's over with. Like, that's been killed. I, I don't know if you're still trying to do, like, the tip my hat to you, miss. I, I don't know. But that that's over with, bro. That was like a century ago at this point, dude. That that's over with. Like, I can't believe someone with access to the internet and TikTok hasn't realized this yet out of anything they could have realized. Who fell in love first? Who made the first move? Who said I love you first? Who says sorry the most? Who replies faster? Who gets jealous more?
All right, so now we got Roblox boyfriends and girlfriends out here filming TikToks. Uh, yeah, let, let's go ahead and, and not do that. I'm assuming the people who made this are probably like 11 years old, so I don't want to go too hard on them, you know, make too many mean comments to them. But if you're one of the 11 year olds that films stuff like this, dude, uh, just realize when you're like 16, 18, 20, looking back on these moments of you filming this kind of stuff with your little Roblox girlfriend, you're going to just hate yourself. It, it's going to consume you from the inside out. The self-hatred, the self just, the realization of what you are will hit too hard. You are going to hate yourself. Just go ahead and save yourself the future disappointment. Don't do this. Appreciate Cheeto having me on for this video. If you don't know who I am, my name is Optimus. You can find me here on YouTube as well. Appreciate you guys giving me the time to make this, and yeah. Thank you, Optimus. Unfortunately, I still have my headache, so we're going to just power through the rest of this and get this video to 20 minutes, so yeah. People keep saying if you can get over 20 points on this hot dog eating game, TikTok will send you a million views on your video. Bro really fell for the oldest trick in the book. A sound telling you that if you use this sound and you do this thing, you'll get a million views, my man. Those don't ever work. Those are fake. And unfortunately, you fell for it. But, I mean, he did do well at that hot dog game. It looks kind of easy, but... I mean, he beat the 20 points, so good for him. Unfortunately, he did not get his million views, unless this video gets a million views, in which case he will have inadvertently gotten a million views. So, <laughs> let's get this video to a million views for him. Excuse me, sir, what do you do for a living? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know, playa? Okay, so you paid somebody to act like they don't know you and come up to you and ask what you do for a living and you answer, wouldn't you like to know? Nobody thinks you're cool, just so you know, you look ridiculous. Dude's wearing a fake diamond encrusted crown and these stupid ass glasses. Like, bro, you just, you're not cool to anybody. The only people that think that that's cool is like six year olds maybe and then like... Yeah, no, that's it, actually. That's probably not even his car that he's sitting in, too. That's probably some, like, rented car that he has for, like, six more hours. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. These 20-minute videos channel. take a lot of work to make, so if you enjoy them, obviously, please show me some love. And, yeah, follow my socials. Links are all down below. Join the Discord server. Thanks to all my channel members, as always, for supporting. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.